Attention, brave viewers. This video features adults immersed in a spine-chilling horror RPG experience. The content likely includes supernatural elements, horror-related events, and potentially scenes of violence. Viewer discretion is advised. Enjoy. friends and floor heads it is saturday night um for those that uh, watch the channel a lot and uh have noticed that probably it feels like the last 10 scheduled games have had to been moved or canceled uh the the strep throats and the flus and everything going on we're just we're losing players having a hard time with it so i have not had a chance to run a game in way too long i've been dying to run zombie world and I reached out to three of my favorite people, Lou, Roger, and Troy. And I said, you guys want to play in the zombie apocalypse? And luckily they said, yes. Yeah. So that's what we're going to do. This is by Magpie Games. No dice, no prep. We're actually going to build this world together as we go. The three of you are post-apocalyptic. The zombie apocalypse has occurred. Um, it's been there long enough that the three of you are now part of an enclave somewhere. Now, we don't know who the three of you are yet, but first we need to talk about the enclave. So here comes your first big decision. Do you guys want to have hold up in a prison, a hospital, a farm, or a mall? What are we thinking? Well, if we're going to vote, I'm thinking hospital. Yeah, I was thinking hospital too. Okay. Thanks. What do you think, Raj? Um, that works for me. All right. Hospital it is. Let's go to the hospital. All right. So now if you go to the upper left-hand corner of your screens, you can see the hospital. So hospital one tells us some of the advantages. So we have medical facilities. When you use the appropriate medical facilities and supplies to treat someone's grievous injuries, draw survival on a hit they live and recover mostly intact on an edge, which is kind of like a mixed success in PBTA on an edge. You had to use up significant and limited supplies to fix them. And on a miss, it's going to cost dearly to keep them alive. Plus you also get the lost ward when you dispose of the dead by putting them into the secure zombie infested, locked up parts of the hospital, draw survival instead of savagery. And on an edge, you can choose to draw twice from the bite deck and pick which one applies. So really great advantages uh, for being in a hospital. On the right-hand side, we have got scarcities. Those are things that we just don't have a lot of in our enclave. Surroundings. Surroundings are what's around our enclave. Population. Who's living in our enclave? And then advantages. We're going to pick two more of each. You start off with a scarcity of security. So unlike maybe a prison, this hospital is not nearly as secure to the outside as uh, some of the other enclaves are. So we already have a security um, enclave. We're going to do this round, round robin. So Troy, you will pick one that you want to add. Then Lou, then Roger will pick two, then Lou, then Troy. And it can be either a scarcity, a surrounding, a population, or an advantage. What are you thinking? Um, advantage. Uh, generators. All right. Generators. All right. Now, <clears throat> talk to me about these generators. Give me um, some details about these generators. They're uh, the old diesel, diesel generators. Uh, we run them very sparingly. Uh, one, because they're noisy as hell. And uh, two, we just, uh, diesel diesel uh, fuel is hard to get, hard to come by. So we definitely use it in emergency situations. Gotcha. Um, so it sounds to me like, Troy, that you guys don't keep this thing going all the time. So we don't have an enclave that constantly has power. It's just when we need to, we're going to turn the generators on, 
to do what needs to be done where we need electricity. And then we're shutting these things down and we're saving on gas. Right. That sounds good. All right, Lou, what do you want to add to our enclave? I think it would be very interesting if we had a military officer here. All right. Um, yeah. Talk to me about our military officer. Uh, so, uh, Captain Rogers uh, is trying to still earn his stripes after the apocalypse. And he is in all of our stuff every day, trying to ration us, trying to get us to wake up early, making sure, uh, you know, it's running military precision. And I don't know that we're overly excited about that. We do know that he is, he helps us but we think it's a little bit over the top. Is he in charge? He's in charge. Okay. We we, we think we need him to be in charge, so we, we deal with it. He, he's good at it? I would say, yeah. Yeah, All he right. is. We're just annoyed, you know, because we're not soldiers. We're just... Yep. All right. Roger, what is your first of two choices? Uh, Let's go with surroundings a major mall ah talk to me about this mall first i need to know the name of the mall uh it is north fields mall okay and is that an enclave for another group has it been pretty much picked through um, have you been, has it been pretty much just your enclaves supply center? Give me an idea of how, how does the enclave interact with this mall? Um, yeah. So I think, uh, I think at one point there was an enclave there. They got overrun. Maybe some of the, the people in the hospital are survivors fleeing from that. Got it. Uh, so it, but it's partially contained. So we still can go in and, and get some supplies, uh -huh. um, but the the brunt of the supplies are in a sort of heavily overrun area where that enclave used to be. Got it. Got it. Got it. All right. So we have got, uh, we need two more scarcities. We need another surroundings, another population, and another advantage. I forgot to mention that we do have a group of surviving patients uh, also uh, as part of the hospital. So that's part of the population here in your enclave. So Roger, you get to go again as we're going round Robin or not round Robin, but whatever you call that snake or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to do a scarcity and I'm going to say uh, we have a scarcity of weapons. It's a hospital, uh, probably the, the captain Rogers military officer. He probably has commandeered whatever weapons he could, you know, scrounge up. Uh, so not, you know, most of us are, are walking around with a knife. If, if that, so to clarify, Roger has captain Rogers got his grips around the weapons. So they're in a secure place. So everybody in this hospital, it's a scarcity, but not for captain Rogers or is even captain Rogers starved for weapons. Do you think? Uh, I think maybe the one or two, you know, a handful let's say that he has managed to to get a hold of he keeps for himself or he has handed out to very trusted people um and that's also causing some of the friction of uh we're not in the military and and he's right you know picking favorites lou we're we're good uh no we still have another scarcity that we need we need one more of each um, we definitely, absolutely have a helicopter. Got it. But Don't nobody fly. knows how to fly it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we have a helicopter. Nobody knows how to fly it. Parked up at the top of the hospital. Yeah. And uh, we got fuel. Thing yep. turns on. I can make the spinny spin. <laughs> so maybe some people got it to like jump on the the pad. All right. But that's about it all right troy you're gonna get two choices here my friend all right you are uh, good on advantages we're good on advantages uh 
Let's go with surroundings again. And let's say that we are in uh, a bay or a harbor. Ooh, okay. So we are on the coast. Now, do we think this is like ocean, lake, river? I'm thinking river. Like we're in okay. a uh, you know town that has a river flowing through it. Like so, they had a river walk and stuff like that. Uh, the advantage is is that we definitely have uh, one side that is uh, relatively secure. We don't have to worry about swamp zombies coming right. out the water, and we can sneak up from from at least one side of the hospital. Got it. Got it. Uh, how about boats? Do we have boats in this uh, in this little bay harbor? thing or nah, nah, it's just a river walk it's just, just the we're river. on this we're just on that side where the river walk is it's uh you know it's got the paved area where you can walk close to the river it's got the you know the the, the railing that goes around got it maybe the river bisects that mall and so on the far side of the river is the swarmed infested area yeah definitely. oh that'd be kind of cool right like the like the river like it's a whole feature of the mall that the river ran mm-hmm. through the mall well that's yeah. a cool idea you go with that troy yeah i'm good with that yeah that's nice. all right so now you we need a population or or a scarcity uh i'm going with scarcity and i'm thinking that there's not a lot of privacy here got it which puts everybody on edge too because you don't have a place we can just clear your head to yourself. It's always somebody moving around. So there's a lot of different reasons why there would be no privacy. Can you? What's specific about this hospital? Is it just because it's so crowded or it's so dilapidated? There's just no doors really anywhere. Like, why can't someone just be, be by themselves? I think because our military leader doesn't really has trust issues or for non-military mm. people, he had all the doors removed. Nice. <laughs> Very nice. All right, Lou, last thing. We've got a group of surviving patients in this enclave. We've got our military officer, officer, Captain Rogers. What is the last choice for our enclave? So I love how we're leaning into this military officer thing. So there's definitely his nemesis, a city official there who is mad he's not running the show. All right, tell me about the city official. Uh, He's a snake. He uh, he undermines half of what the military officer says, uh, you know, curfews and stuff. He doesn't pay attention. He, you know, tries to whisper, you know, things to people like, oh, you don't have to listen to him. And, you know, he's got all those weapons. And yeah, definitely. Now, is he kind of like like city council, like real, like low or is he mayor or? No, he was a former mayor. OK, got so it. he also has that ire that he was yep. beat in the last election and he's got this weird delusion, you know, that he can still, these are still his constituents. Yep. So, all right. So, uh, we're out of choices, but I do want Roger to name our former mayor, mayor. What? What are you thinking, Roger? (laughs) My cat hit my mute button. (laughs) <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's a strange I name just, yeah. Bob my right. cat hit my uh, that's probably why he didn't get elected <laughs> his last name is don't vote for me yeah, right. <laughs> his name is Randy Gumption Randy Gumption he's got a lot of it apparently alright so gumption. the three of you we need to come up with a name for our enclave like what we named it like what we spray painted on the front of it or like what what, what, do you, what does was. everybody call it oh okay right so you guys had generators i'm gonna put the generator card down there and then the, the other one you chose was helicopter all right i put the helicopter and the generator over on the right hand side where the enclave is you can see there's bonuses you guys get from having both the generators and the thing all right so what do we decide the name was we just call it the riverwalk enclave or the riverwalk 
Riverwalk. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. That's good enough. All right. Let's make that nice and big. All right. We have got our enclave. And we've got the scarcities population surroundings already marked. We've got our two advantages. Now let's start making some people. All right. So now for defining our survivors, I'm going to deal you each of you one past card. You're going to keep it in your hand, read it. This is a card that says what you were before the apocalypse. When you read the card, you'll see that there's an, there's something you get from it. If you reveal your past, you'll get a bonus. So I'm going to go to past. I'm going to deal one card to all players. Or we can give you guys a chance to read it. Is there any way to make it bigger? <laughs> if you just click on it. Click on it, on it, and it should get bigger. Okay, thank you. Yep. Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. All right. So... Next, I'm going to deal you two present cards. That's what you are now in the Enclave. You're going to pick one and discard the other one. So you'll take it out of your hand, put it into your onto your play map, then take the other one and just set it somewhere and hit the and then select it and delete it. Okay. Okay. So everybody is going to get two. So first, Chef, Mr. Troy, there's your two. That's not what I wanted to do. Two cards to Roger. And then two cards to Lou. Okay, once you have decided between those two, deal them both. To your play mat so you can just drag them out of your hand onto the play mat and then delete the one you're not Ooh, rogers the lookout lookout troy is the mediator nice Then the one you're not going to use, Troy, you can just select it and hit delete on your keyboard. Okay. Nice. Uh, what's Lou going to be? The advisor. Put it right on your... You should be able to select it. You got it? You want some help? Uh, yeah, it's not letting me grab it. Oh, there we go. I'm doing it for you. Okay. All right. So you, we've got an advisor, a lookout, and a mediator. Okay. Last but not least, you're going to get now one trauma card. This is how you cope. This is a result of what has happened to you up until the point we start playing. Like the past card, you're going to keep it in your hand. And when you want to play it, you can play it. And you can see what happens when you do play it. So let me go ahead and deal one to Troy, deal one to Roger, and deal one to Lou. I'll give you guys a chance to read those. Questions or concerns? No. Nope. 
All right. So now we should have a pretty decent picture about your survivor. So Roger, I'm going to start with you. We now need to delineate your stats. One of your four stats is going to be a three. Two of them will be twos. And then one will be a one. You've got savagery, which is your ability to do violence. You have soul, which is your ability to communicate and connect with people. Steel is your mental stability. And then survival is your ability to survive in the apocalypse. So if you go to the text tool, you should be able to type numbers in. Mm -hmm. Tell me what we're thinking here, Raj. Tell me about my uh, lookout. Uh, I'm thinking survival three. Okay. So that's first. Um, probably steel and soul two and savagery one. Got it. So steel and soul two, savagery one. All right. Lou. So uh, I am survival three. Okay. I am uh, soul two, savagery two, and steel one. Excellent. So if you go up to the little text tool on the left-hand side there, Lou, you should be able to fill those out. And then last but not least, I need to hear about my mediator. Uh, so I'm going to use Soul 3. Uh, Makes sense. Savagery 2. Steel 1. And Survival 2. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. All right. So. Now we need to talk about relationships. So much like bonds and uh, your PBTAs, we have relationships. So let me go ahead and deal out some relationships. All right. So I'm going to first do the relationship between Troy and Roger. Your relationship is the two of you have an intimate relationship. Why are you keeping it hidden? I'll let you think about it. You guys think about it. We'll kind of flesh it out. You have the option of ditching it if neither of you want it. But you have to take the second one. You want to keep this one or draw again? I'm okay. game. I'll, I'll give it a go. All right. <laughs> well, you know, now, intimately, we, we're just best friends. We're just super. It does not necessarily mean yeah. you're doing kissy face. Right, right. right. <laughs> All right. We're but you are very, close very close. close. Yeah. Like, All I'll right. Take now, over. Roger and Lou. Roger and Lou. The two of you were antagonists before Z Day. What has changed, and if anything, since then? Okay. And then Lou and Troy. Lou and Troy. The two of you blame each other for the death of an enclave member. What happened? <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> this is what the audience wants. Right. <laughs> I think the fix is in. <laughs> <laughs> So in the instructions, they say, you know, now you, you guys hammer this out. I say, we leave it at this. You guys know what the relationship is. You guys will bring up that relationship will become part of play. And I think we can define it as we play. Um, I much prefer that because I think we really don't know who we are yet. Right. Right. All right. Last but not least, each of you are going to get an ally. This is an NPC that ultimately I control. Though, if you look on your character sheet, you have a move to have to to kind of dictate or take control of your ally, and there's mechanics behind that. But this ally is your confidant, your closest friend. It could be somebody who's a follower of yours, somebody who is a buddy or a partner of yours. You will decide what that relationship is. So let's go to. Hold on. 
go to the population. All right, first, I'm going to give Troy's. Troy, introduce us. Can you tell us about your ally? Let's see. Oh, well, I have the, uh, the gift of gab. And uh, during one of our runs to the mall, she was one of the survivors from that enclave. And uh, I, I was the one who saved her. So she just kind of latched on to me as her protector. So Priya Gupta, she's got bartering, empathy, and man empathy manipulation for her skill sets. And she carries pepper spray. Nice. Right. I think I want to know Rogers. Roger. Yours is Yusuf Wiba Wibawa. <laughs> Biker. <laughs> Who is Yusuf? Uh Yusuf came in with me into the enclave. Uh and um He's he's kind of the he's the muscle behind me. Ah, uh, he's the reason why people don't don't mess with me. It's not because of your savagery, right? But it's because of your no. your relationship with Yusuf. Mm -hmm. All right. So his skills are intimidation, scavenging, and violence, and his equipment is chains and a motorcycle. <laughs> All right. Last but not least, Lou. Lou, Ahmad Childers, a projectionist. Tell me about Ahmad. Um, we before we came to the enclave, uh, we were kind of running a scam together, and we were scamming people out of their supplies. Um. I'm the brains behind it, and he was he was the guy that kind of talked me into it, and I thought it was a great idea. Uh, so that's kind of kind of where we're at. All right, let's take a few seconds. Let's fill out our character names. You can do that right on your sheets, and we're going to start playing here in just a second. I'm just going to quickly take some notes for myself. So I got to come up with what the hell's going on in this hospital. All right. And I have Rogers is Yusuf. Who has a name for me? Percy. Percy. Percy, Percy, Percy. Just like it sounds, P E R C C Y. All right. I got you, Percy. All right. Troy or uh, Roger? Troy? Dexter. Dexter, AKA Dex Bryant. Dexter. Roger. I will be playing Harley Hogan. Some Harley. people call me Harley. Some people call me Hogan. Nobody calls me anything else. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And let's see. We've got, and what's nice about these allies is we've picked up a motorcycle and a car via our allies here. I see the equipment there. All right. Last but not least. I am going to choose a time passes card. And this is going to kind of give me an idea really what uh, what's been going on here and what is our kind of inciting incident to kind of get us started. So let's take a look. A new scarcity develops. All right. It's evening at the hospital. The three of you, um, 
the three of you are on the fourth floor of the hospital. It's a floor that really isn't used a whole lot, right? Um, so there's nobody that really lives there. It's a lot of supplies and things there. And I think the three of you have kind of snuck off after dinner just to kind of relax a little bit. Um, and Harley, what did, what did, uh, the enclave get fed tonight? Uh, beans. We got a big old sack of beans that we're working through getting towards the bottom of though. So it sounds like, like actual dried beans. So not canned. No. Yeah. Dried beans. Nice. Okay. And, um, Percy, what, uh, what do you, you're, you're kind of passing out something to drink. Um, is it just water or what are we passing around here? Uh, it is very, very diluted tang. There's and not much it, of the powder it, left. It, it, it's not orange at all, but it, there's a hint. It, it smells maybe like tang, but it tastes like water. <laughs> I like it. I like it. All right. Last but not least, uh, Dexter. There's one more person up there with you. It's a, it's an, one of the allies. Whose ally is up there with you? Who's the fourth person? It's uh it's uh Harley's ally since he is his muscle. He kind of looks at him as his uh, bodyguard, so he makes sure stuff is. Gotcha. So Yusuf happens. is up there as well. He's kind of yeah. the fourth one. Yeah. All right. You guys hear someone coming down the hallway and you know, before you even see her, you know who it is because she insists on wearing uh, spurs on her boots. So she's got that ching ching as she walks, even though it's possible she's never ridden a horse, <laughs> let alone needs spurs, let alone need spurs in the apocalypse. And she leans into the room. Hey, gentlemen. Don't mean to disturb your little boyfriend time here. But we got a problem. How is we got a problem? Yeah, the well, problem is all, she's interrupting our dinner. That's Y'all are sitting up here on supply level. And I don't know whether you've been paying attention or not, but we've got basically one box of antibiotics left. And then we're done. And you know we go through those things like they're Tic Tacs. So, oh, Cap Rogers, want me to come up here and at least get the four of you to figure out how the hell we're going to fix this because we are only goddamn hospital here. And we've already got, I mean, there ain't no more in this hospital. Uh, can we at least finish our tang? I don't give two shits what you do. I'm just telling you what Captain Rogers told me. My work is done. Well, then go scamper off and, you know, find a horse that you like to ride. I see you, Dexter. So. And she winks at you and walks away. <laughs> 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 Ma's not gonna be happy. We gotta borrow his car again. We're gonna oh. we're gonna need his car. He's gonna want you know, something. He, you know he always wants something. Well, that's who he is. I mean, what what do we have to offer? I mean, I mean Harley, what did you give him last time? I mean, I I gave him that pack of razor blades that we managed to scavenge on the last run. Dude, the guy doesn't even shave. Look at him. <laughs> was that was that just I, like a, um was that just him showing his power over us like I think he's trying to make a shit i'm gonna i'm gonna take stuff that i don't even need from you is that what that was about i don't uh, think he's planning on shaving this is gonna be a problem this is gonna be a problem where are we gonna get stuff <sighs> yeah where are we i mean if less i know is, that uh... that corner pharmacy is done i mean we got rid of that a month ago there's nothing in there we have to go out farther which is always exciting do you think there'd be get... anything in the mall? I mean, I don't spend too much time over there. It's not my thing, but 
Uh, wasn't it that uh, uh, maybe that uh, that little minute clinic? It was it was really not well known. It was kind of hidden for the for the staff because there's a lot of like restaurants and stuff in the mall. Yeah, but that's on the far side, man. You know what's over on the far side. The far side is yeah. The far side is shaky. Why is this? Why is this our problem? Stuck up Rogers decided it would be our problem. Dude, like every it's like Beetlejuice, dude. You say his name. <laughs> you just only if you say it three times. <laughs> you, well, you, you know we're the most capable team that goes out. We always come back with what we're what we what we're uh, asked to find. Yeah, I think we're just you lucky. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah, you can well, only pull I'd so many be... straws before you pull the short one. <laughs> Uh, I'd rather be lucky than good. I can tell you that. Do we have no other options other than the far side of the mall? I mean, we I mean, can we drive can... further downtown, but who knows what's you, down you, there? You know he's only going to give us a gallon and a half of gas. Ahmad knows it's going to be enough to get to the mall and back, and that's it. Well, and, and that car is probably about like 30 miles, though. I mean, you know, 15 miles out, 15 miles back. Ah, he, he knows the needle. It can go another, like, third. <laughs> the needle. He's tested it. Well, <clears throat> the mall sounds very, uh, very sketchy. And I'm not trying to get uh, bit tonight, not least by zombies. Uh, there's no pharmaceutical companies or anything that you can think of. So as the three of you are discussing this, I'm going to cut. We're going to go to. We're going to go to um, a sleeping Ahmad. He's on his cot. Um, he's got a book on his chest. He fell asleep uh, reading the book. Um, it's about 5 a.m. Uh, the three of you have figured out where you're going to go. You're going to try to get out of here. Um but you're not going to do it by foot. That's what it didn't sound like. The mall's your man. Dude. Percy, you, you know, you got to ask him. I know. It's just. All right. <clears throat> listen, listen. This, 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 is what, this is what I can offer. This is in my secret stash. I got. Dude, where did you get three, I got three twinkies bananas left. from? No, I got three Twinkies left. Oh, they're Twinkies. I saw the yellow. Yeah, I like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, I thought, but I was like, peanut butter and banana sandwiches, <laughs> man. <laughs> but, you know, we got to find peanut butter. But uh, <laughs> Hey, one step at a time. Right. We didn't so, have either. Right. Oh, yeah, we didn't have bread either. <laughs> right. Uh, I can give my, uh, I'll give my... Dude, you know he has a sweet tooth. All right, just give me two. Hold the other one, because we might need to barter. I might need another okay. half gallon of gas, and I think maybe if we give him a Twinkie, we might be able to get that gas, all right? So all right. All right. I'll just take the two Twinkies. All right, cool. Oh, I wish I could smell it through the wrapper. No, 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 no. <laughs> don't, don't open it. I'm not, I'm not. Uh, uh, hey, I'm not. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we need the car again. Why do you need the car, Percy? Uh, because next time you cut yourself shaving, we might not have any antibiotics for you. Dude, I was just up there like two days ago. We're good on antibiotics. Uh, so that's not what oh. Jingle Jangles woman says. All right. Um, I throw two Twinkies and hit him in the chest. I, he looks at me and goes, oh, I didn't know you were serious. Like, no, nah, we need the car. And he sits up. We're going to do our first flip. I need a little soul action from Percy. So, <laughs> Percy, on the decks there, you should be able to find the... Uh, do you have the decks in the lower right corner? Uh, yes, I see them. Very top scroll up to the survivor. What do you yeah, have at soul? 
I have two in soul. Okay, so that means you're going to draw two cards. So click the deck, it'll flip a card for you, drag it onto the uh, okay. uh, so map. I, I hover over it and it has remove and draw. I'm hit clicking draw twice? Yep. Okay. Oh, I can hit draw two cards. There we go. Yeah. Draw. Okay, you want to throw them down for us so we can all see them? Uh, sure. Click that. Oh, here we go. Oh, there we go. All right, we got a miss. And a miss. And a miss. <laughs> and, and it's Start strong. So he sits up. He looks, he looks at the Twinkies. And he goes, Percy, are you having a laugh? And he turns them over, and you can see where some sort of rodent had gotten into the bottom of both of them. And it's just green mold oh, around the cream oh, filling. The three, you know, the three dots of cream filling at the bottom of a Twinkie. Yeah, All the, there's yeah. little rings of mold around things. He goes, you think this is funny, dude? Dude, I didn't know. I didn't know. I, I, why would I know? Get, the, get the hell out of here. And he throws the Twinkies back at you. And he kind of like rolls back over, puts the blanket over his head on the cot. I see the keys on this nightstand. <laughs> I look over at Harley and I look over at the keys and then I go to talk to I'm not and dude I'm sorry I you know I didn't mean it I'll find something else I, I don't know I'll find something else I mean, and he's talking under the covers, right? He's not even looking at you. The covers are over there, and he's going, I mean, dude, like, don't get me wrong. Like, if you can find two Twinkies that are actually edible, I mean, hell, I'll, I'll, you, that, that's two trips in the car as far as I'm concerned. But, man, every time we take that car out, we have a chance of it not coming back. And it's it, we don't have – we're kind of short on cars, man. Yeah. Um, well, we might be going to the mall. Well, just be careful while you're walking, man. I mean, that's some dangerous shit. Okay. But you know uh, Candy Delight is in the mall, right? Like I said, man, okay. pay up front. You know how it is. I love you, dude. dude. I absolutely love dude, you, dude. I... But that car is like the, our lifeline, man. Like if you and I ever need to get the hell out of here, we got to make sure that car is working. So if Captain Rogers thinks this is so goddamn important, maybe he can teach you how to fly that chopper. <laughs> uh, I am absolutely trying to slip in and grab those keys off the nightstand. I, I was waiting. I'm like, <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm All right. with not a even a, not, I mean, it didn't even... It was one look, and I was already there. All right. So we see Harley trying to be super quiet. Percy's keeping keeping um, Ahmad busy. And this is going to be a little survival action, Harley. Perfect. Now, for those of you uh, watching, the deck has a mixture of triumphs, edges, and misses. And every time we draw from the deck, the cards go back in and are reshuffled. Um, yeah, so okay. there's no memory to this deck. Good to draw. Yep. Go ahead and draw your three and then drop them down by your card. And let's see what you got. Woo. Excellent. Man, the luck is just not with us today, boys. Excellent, excellent. Um, yeah. Percy's keep yapping away, keeping him, uh, keeping him occupied, and all of a sudden we hear, Harley, what are you doing? <laughs> and you turn and you see Alexis Jimenez. She was the janitor, head janitor here at the hospital. Um, she's kind of kind of fallen back into that. She's got a pail. And as soon as she see, says that, Ahmad immediately sits up and sees your dirty hands in the cookie jar, Harley. <laughs> Alexis is like, what, what, what are you doing? I just cleaned this floor. Dude, are you trying to take my keys? 
What the hell, Percy? No, but, dude, there's not... We need to get antibiotics. We need the car. <sighs> All right. Uh, listen, I, I'm going to use my uh, mediator uh, skill here. All right, what does that do? Uh, if I can get it to explode, I can tell you. So when you talk to others, uh, when you talk others out of conflict between each other, gotcha. you take stress plus stress one steer. So nobody's stressed right now, Troy. Right. But that being said, we can do this still mechanically because I think you have a very high soul, right? Right. So let's let's hear you mediate here, mediator. <sighs> a lot. I understand that that car is precious to you. But also, you know, we, we it is our main form of transportation. You, you, and we know that, you know, Darcy is your baby. And we're gonna treat it like it's our baby. You know, Percy is not, Percy's gonna be the only one driving. He knows how to handle the car. And we'll, we'll bring you back whatever sweet treats, whatever we find over what we need, you know you're going to get first choice. You know that. How did you get razors? Because we were out. You know, it's us, man. He we points to Harley. Everything. He points to Harley. He goes, I, he points to Percy, hate, and points to you, Dexter, you. I hate all three of you. He hops out of his cot, grabs his pants, puts his pants on, grabs the keys, puts them in his pocket. I guess I'm driving. Okay, if you got to go, you got to go. No <laughs> problem. This is... So we go down to the ambulance uh, bay. We get into Darcy. Um, I think Percy needs to describe to me what Darcy is. Uh, what kind of car are we talking about here? Darcy is a Volkswagen Golf. <laughs> hey it's great on gas <laughs> yeah yeah um we definitely wedge ourselves in there you know we're, we're chin to knees sitting in just the, back. the four of you or is yusuf coming what are we doing uh or is or is question. priya coming we could fit one more in the middle in the back and i mean fit i'm using the term fit loosely but we could put someone in there so uh, Who's coming? I think we take you, Seth. Just go ahead, you know. Yeah. Priya, Priya's pretty, but you know she's. A little, oh yeah, he's a little. We're bad. taking Yusuf. I mean, that's. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know we were debating oh. this. Uh, uh, shotgun. I was oh, waiting for it. Grab it. <laughs> <laughs> now that I know Yusuf is going in the back, shotgun. I'm so not sitting Har at home. I can tell you that. <laughs> Harley, Dexter, Yusuf are in the back. Percy's up front, but uh, uh, Yusuf has forced him to push the front seat as close <laughs> to the dash as possible. So Percy's knees are under his chin um, because Percy's not going to argue with Yusuf about this. <laughs> Yusuf just tapped him on the shoulder and Percy just knew like <laughs> slides and gives him the leg room. Um, Yusuf has a go bag that he throws in the little hatchback in the back of this golf. Um, we're going to assume all three of you have contributed to that go bag. So it's going to be one bag that's going to have your shit in it. Um, Ahmad's like, he signals and person up front opens up the chain link. We see our little Volkswagen Golf driving up the ramp, leaving the hospital. Where is it headed? Decided that uh... it's heading somewhere that Ahmed wants to go for Ahmad wants to go first and I don't know where that is so Ahmed said we're gonna go get your pills and going to a bookstore he was he was just finishing his last Ooh. book right that's nice yeah so wherever you guys said this is where we're gonna go to get pills that's that's a right 
He comes out. He takes a left. Dude, where are you going? Dude, the mall's that way. Dude, if I'm if I'm gonna risk the car, first we're going to books a million. Oh my god. Because I you can't tell so, me you've read every single book. So someone that's in Riverwalk. Someone took my last Percy Jackson book. I have not read it. I'm gonna get it and I'm gonna read it. And the four U's are gonna protect me. Why do you need that book? You got the more adventurous Percy sitting right next to you. Oh my <laughs> god. You don't know how much I want to change the name of this character. So He's got a crossed out in the book. Oh, God. <laughs> Every instance. Place with Ahmad. He pushes, pushes the tape deck in. The tape goes in. And uh, it's playing Spandau Ballet as as uh, as we're headed towards Books a Million. As we're, as we're going, <laughs> we're, seeing, we're seeing the river uh, off to kind of the right. Uh, he's kind of following the river. On the other side of the river, we're seeing walkers. Not a bunch of them. Just every once in a while, you just see one shuffling around. Maybe one kind of crawling. You hear a plop as another one falls into the river. They really haven't figured out, thank God, what to do about that situation. They just seem to kind of sink to the bottom. Um, so that's that's been a really great barrier. And we cut to pulling into the books a million. And uh, Ahmad goes, uh, now, Harley, I know uh, I know you've been here before. I know you did a run to books a million here, man. Like, what do we do? We go all the way to the back, the front. Like, what's the end? Where should I park, man? Uh, backside's best side. All right. So he takes the car around. There's cars, but they're all just lifted. The tires are gone on them. The windows are broken. They've already started to rust. Uh, just scattered garbage and debris everywhere. And he takes it around to the back. Two dumpsters there. They've been tipped over and are essentially empty. And it looks like the back door is wide open and this kind of flapping in the morning breeze turns the car off for whatever reason hits the pulls up the emergency brake <laughs> and he goes all right let's go get a let's go get us percy jackson and he hops out of the car i can't believe we're doing this right now I this can't. is so this is, this is so not gonna work out in and out in and out in and out okay I mean, we have to literally uh, shop the young adult section. Like, this is embarrassing. Well, maybe I can find a, a bread baking fork in here. Or we can get that bread. <laughs> so we can make those sandwiches. Okay. So, Yusef looks to you, Harley, and he goes, "You want me? Uh, you want me going in, Harley, or uh, should I stay out here with the uh, the, the truck?" He kind of um, giggles as himself for calling it a truck. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, why don't you post up by the door? I'll go on the inside and keep eyes on everything. All right, man. You but you give me a yell and I'll come in there, all right? Yep. And Let me know. Same. You see all something right. bad, give us a yell. Are we, uh, <laughs> getting, are, are we getting the tools out the gold bag? At the gold bag? Yeah, I think all three of you definitely dip in, right? So all three of you, we're not going to say what it is yet. All three of you kind of load up out of the go bag. And the... Uh, Friggin' Ahmed doesn't even go to the go bag. He's just, he's going to get his book. Um, so the four of you walk in. It wouldn't be so bad had the roof held, but enough rain has now gotten through that this place just smells like wet book. And the magazines like there's the papers are stuck to the ground and the the cheap rugs that they put in books of millions like when you're stepping into the into the rug and you hear the squish of the wetness and you can see it kind of pool for a second around your shoe as you're walking through kind of lose a track of uh of Ahmed. he knows exactly where he's going 
please uh, so, stay close. Uh, I'm, I'm going to pop in, and there's like a customer service desk at the back. Yep. Uh, I'm hopping up on that so I can get a sight line over the whole thing. So from there, Harley, you can see that there's some stacks that are still up. There's actually a good amount of books still here. It looks like on the priority list, we haven't gotten to books yet as far as <laughs> scavenging goes. Um, there has been some sort of kerfuffle here because uh, you see some knocked over shelving on the far back right or be the front right from where you are, right? Um, looks like something happened there. Uh, most of the windows, the display windows in the front are crashed through. As best as you can tell, Harley, though, the place doesn't look overrun, right? So if, if there was some violence or something that happened here, it's probably just people. Um, usually, usually you can tell when the debt is overrun a place and they just destroy everything. And there's usually pieces of things left behind. And from your view, Harley, you know, you're not seeing that. And I've just got your head on a swivel if you're okay with that. Yep. Clock in, clock in ed- entrances and exits, you know, break rooms, bathrooms, places where people can pop out. Dexter, what are you doing? Uh, I'm staying on uh, Ahmed's right hip so we can get this book, he can be happy, and then we can just pull him out. Percy? Uh, I ran over to the barista counter in the coffee section and I hop over the counter. So, Dexter, you're staying, staying with Ahmed, and he's looking up there, and he goes, oh, shit, I haven't read these yet. And he's stopping and browsing. If, hey, 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 my, uh, uh, yo, hey, hey, let's get your book and no, get out of here. Yeah, no, we, we will, man, but have, have you read the extended universe novels? I like, do you know, sure. like, th- they cover everything that happened after A New Hope and before The Empire Strikes Back. Like, you know how that was a big time jump? And he grabs another, he goes, these two books fill you in man they tell you everything that happened here, here, just, good. Just, yeah, just trust me just trust me trust me actually if you're gonna like those you'll bet you'll like it he grabs another one I'm very behind behind well, the barista <laughs> counter with a garbage bag and i'm like guys score and it's full of old coffee crowns that have since dried out and tea bags that are used tea bags that are dried out in there and i hop back over the counter Okay. <laughs> what kind so of lame ass okay. score is that? <laughs> right, Use right. coffee grounds? I would, I would like. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that sounds amazing. So, right. Dexter, you're trying to talk him off this, but we all know how Ahmed is, man. Once he gets down that rabbit hole, he's throwing. He goes and and dude, how about have you read Dune three, man? And he's like handing you more books. I grip him by his collar. I drop the books and grip him by his collar. You grip him by his collar. And let's go. And you go to pull him, and something pulls him into the book stand. Oh, shit. And you look, and you see this dude. On the other side of the book thing, he has got Ahmed by the neck, like by his collar on his neck. He's got a gun on his forehead, and he's looking at you big dude big like like bigger than yusuf um big round face he's got uh goatee uh peaked hair and kind of a long ponytail behind it he's wearing a thick black leather jacket and he looks at you he goes so how much you got he's not even talking to ahmed he's talking to you dexter I got a couple of bottle, a couple of bottle caps, and some lint in my pocket. What are you talking about? Money's no good here. What are you this talking is about? Re- this is all really funny. So I noticed that he has a prison tattoo on his arm, and I'm going to real re- uh, reveal my past. Oh. oh. Which is I'm an ex-con. Ooh, all right. So let's play that and put it in your past. All right. Let's drag that up. Here. Should be able to flip it. Just right click on it. Right click. Oh, that's the wrong button. Sorry. 
I'll flip it for you. I got it. I got it. I got Ex-convict. It. All right. So reveal to reveal this card, admit your crime to another survivor. While revealed, draw plus one when you try to escape from physical danger. So he's he's got on there. He's, he's got that prison tattoo, and he goes, "Joking's long over." I need to know yeah. how much you got and what he's worth. Listen, I see that you uh been in. Where'd, where'd you spend your time at? I ain't small talking right now. I need a soul. Well, I'm just... I need a soul from you, but you're going to draw an additional. So what do you have for soul? I have a three for soul, so I get to draw four cards. You're going to draw four for me. <clears throat> you're going to draw from the survivor deck because the deck at the very top uh i have three edges and a miss okay so you're gonna take an edge go ahead and clear out your hand and let's see your move i, I've been, I have not been doing the moves i'm terrible i gotta figure out what this move was gonna be hold on so this was gonna be i think this is calm down a pc all right, so on an edge, you get to pick one. So go down to the bottom there, Troy. You can pick one of these things for Calm Down a PC. Right. You can keep them calm for some time. You can have them reveal their true concerns, or they don't hold you responsible. You get to pick one on an edge. Uh, what was the second one? Second one, you can keep them calm for some time. You can have them reveal their true concerns, or they don't hold you responsible his true concerns because the problem is never the problem all right so he's he's got his gun here he goes i'm not up for conversation uh, we're, we're no one's up for conversation but we talking we're on the same listen i did i did my time over in uh down in georgia federal and uh you know we're all desperate now but we don't have to resort to this right now i mean you need you need somewhere to stay. We got a place to stay. We got. What do you mean you got a place to stay? Well, you know we got a little a little spot that we keep that we uh, hold up at night during the day when it's raining. I, I saw your other two buddies. And I know you got a guy outside. So you're saying there's more of us? It's a lot more of us. And like a roof over your head, more of you? Like a roof over our head, like and not smelling like rotten papers. I know you, you look like you've been out here for a while by yourself. You you got that kind of, uh, you know, we all seen that stare from surviving out here. You know, you've been. I ain't giving you my gun. Well, we are, we, look, right now we're not. We're just talking about a roof over your head. We can talk about particulars later. But, you know, every place has its rules. Like, hey, remember in lockup, what's the first thing you got to do? Empty your pockets. Show everyone what you got. All right. Um, he's got Ahmed still by the collar. Gun's not really on his forehead. Ahmed goes, and dude, I've got a, I got a shit ton of books. And, and this guy puts the gun back on his forehead. And he goes, I've got enough fucking books. I'm good. Don't and listen he to him, Ahmed. He pushes he's... him away, and Ahmed falls to your feet, and he just goes, "I'm trusting you." And he's got his. He's got, he doesn't have the gun in any threatening manner. Is pointed up. His finger's not on the trigger. He goes, I'm going to keep this. And I'm trusting you. Oh, that's all we have in this word is our word. Remember? Hey, what's I, what's the most the most thing in the, in, the, in, the, in the pen? A man's word. So I'm giving you my word that everything's going to be okay. All right. So you just... Got, hey, someone pulls some shit on me, I'm shooting you first. Well, I, I'd rather not get shot first. So everything's going to be okay. That's a deal I can live with. <laughs> so, Ahmed grabs Percy Jackson, gets two copies <laughs> just in case. Fucking Ahmed. <laughs> He's like, we're good to go. We got a new buddy. We're, we got like, Dude. we got a ton. Of, oh, shit. There ain't no way he's fitting in the car. Listen, we can, we can let it ride him on a hatchback. We can ride him on the front of the car everybody's together now including you guys are let's have you right outside where the car is so i've got three four five there's six of you 
I'm and, in my lap. Oh, freaking Yusuf is just going. So this is what we'll do. This is someone's got just we'll just ride it. Someone rides in the trunk with the trunk with the hatch open. It's a hatchback, right? It's the golf hatchback. Percy's the smallest. <laughs> Percy, hey. It's it's your buddy. It's it's not my buddy. He's not my buddy. Watch your buddy. None of y'all is my buddy Listen. right now. Okay? I think I'm... we need to come up with a plan on how we can come back for our new buddy. Or, hey. listen, or we can just give them directions to where we're staying. And he, does, or, he has introduced himself as Sandy. Yeah. Or it's 5v1, and it would be really cool to have that iron. Him and Yusef are kind of shooting the shit over by the car. Yusuf, and, you, and Yusuf knows what he's doing, right? Yeah. He knows that he need you guys need some time to talk. He is a manipulator. Yes, he is. <laughs> so, if we do this, there's a chance that I may get shot. <laughs> Again, a chance I'm willing to take. <laughs> right. I know that you are, Bertie. <laughs> you still, you still upset about losing that damn dog? Wasn't my fault. The dog ran off and got what? bit by the zombie. Man. It's, it's they still a, blame it's just me. A dog. They still blame me for that. Wow. You know, it's 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 total BS. But they still blame me. Wow, well, you know. So they said if I would have fed the dog more, then he wouldn't have been rooting around in the garbage outside and wanted to get outside. I, I, it's all BS. It's total BS. He ate. Uh, Yusuf, Yusuf yells over to you, Harley. Harley. Day get day ain't getting longer. These guys are talking about dogs and shit. I don't. Know. <laughs> <laughs> I already said Percy's the smallest. He sits in the hatch. I love the idea. There ain't no goddamn way any of our asses are fitting in the back. Even if we took the go bag out. All right. Let me go talk to our our new friend here, and this is what we're going to do. We'll just give him the, you know, we'll, we'll ask, we'll, we'll ask him to hold up here, and then we'll be back for him. Tell we'll him to back. hold these books, and we'll bring the car around. <laughs> just stand here with the books. Okay. <laughs> so hey, hey, my friend, listen, we weren't expecting company, and as you can see, our car is very small, and so this is what. This is what we're going to do. I believe you, and we're going to come back. We got to go make this run for our spot, and we'll be back. We'll come back and get you. How now, do if I you know want, you're going to be back? Because what I'm going to do, we're going to give you the way to where we are, and you can start walking, and then we'll just pull back once we drop. Once we make our run, we get our drop. Then we'll just come back and scoop you up. How, How's uh, that? How closely is Sandy paying attention to Dex right now? Uh, he's he's paying a good bit of attention to Dex. Yeah. I will reveal my past. <laughs> <laughs> Which is? Bounty Hunter. Oh, oh shit. shit. And I am going to... Uh, What's Take one of those chains. Reveal to reveal this card, capture or restrain another human. Oh. So I'm taking one of those chains whoosh, right around Sandeep's arms, you know, pinned up. Take his gun out of his hand or his waistband or wherever he tuck, tucked it. You like, he doesn't even look at you, Harley. He looked right at he's looking right at Dexter. You son of a bitch. Kunk. <laughs> Hit him in the back of the head before he can finish it. He falls, and Yusuf comes over and he goes, Don't know why you waited. (laughs) 
That Dexter will talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> who, who are you people? In the car. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? Let's get in the car. You've been Let's inside, and now this guy's like freaking last one people with chains. He's the one who put me inside. Look, we don't need to talk about that. Let's get on the road. <laughs> we'll lose All right. Daylight. We get his pistol. We're seeing a knitting circle. All right, we're, shotgun. We're Damn it! <laughs> I just I just lift up the chain again. <laughs> All right. So, so grab his we, pistol, whatever weapons he has, and throw it in the go bag. And we leave him. Um, we've been dilly dallying around this. Last night you decided where you're going, but you haven't told me yet. Uh, go, go check out the mall. going to the mall in a zombie themed game is always a smart move absolutely <laughs> let's take a quick 10 minute break we'll be back <laughs> what the hell is going to happen at the mall we'll
All right. So we cut to <laughs> our hoopty, <laughs> the golf, <laughs> Volkswagen Golf, pulling up to the mall. Now, keep in mind, I, I've been building this world in, in my head listening to, to the three of you. We've got like a river walk situation, kind of a boardwalk situation. I don't think this is a suburban mall. Um, my thoughts are, and I want to know if you agree, is this is one of those like restored downtown malls where there's a whole bunch of buildings, but they've all been kind of connected, right? Mm -hmm. So, and and there's they've built bridges across the uh, the malls, but essentially they've converted this long dilapidated part of this river walk area, have turned it into this huge like walking mall, which is really just gutting these row houses and these buildings um so if you guys are good with that i feel like that that's that's what we're looking at that's cool yeah, seems good so you pull up behind um dexter is as um ahmed kind of parks the car making sure that it's pointed in an easy way to get out that isn't blocked it'll get it back to the street you look back at the back side of of uh Northfield's Mall, and um, you notice something that's changed since the last time you were here. What do you What do you notice? Uh, Something's different. The dumpsters uh, have been kind of formed into like a makeshift barricade. Um, you know, they're all lined up. They look like they have uh, broken glass and stuff on the top, um, kind of epoxied on. Uh, yeah, and, and it's like there's like the main back employee entrances, which is what you have always gone in and out on, right? And so that keeps you on this side of the river. You don't yeah. cross the bridges. You can always go in this place. And it looks like someone has collected like three of these huge fucking dumpsters that has created like a barricade. So you can't see the door. You just see these blue and yellow dumpsters that are stood up. Uh, Percy, what are you afraid of right now as you look at this situation? I'm afraid that we're going to have to fight to get what we need. It's been pretty desolate over here. Again, being an open air kind of mall situation, it wasn't like the best spot, but apparently someone is staking claim to this place. So I'm not the fighting type. Harley, what's making you confident? Um, Yusuf, man. Look at that guy. <laughs> <laughs> so he steps out of the car. And he kind of laughs a little bit because he, he squeezed Percy into Dexter more than he needed to to get out, <laughs> to give him that last little squish. And he stands up and he <clears throat> kind of stretches out and uh, looks off and he goes, Yep. Yeah. Looks like someone might be holed up in there. Guys, we sure, we sure there's nowhere else we can get any antibiotics? Not that I could think of off the top of my head. Uh, We're already here. We want to burn more gas driving around looking for someplace else? Always the voice of reason, Harley. Hell, Somebody's got to be. We got this. Hey, uh, uh, Bookworm, you, uh, why don't you stay here with the car? And he takes the gun that you took from Sandeep and he gives it to to Ahmed. This is the part you point at what's coming at you. I get it, asshole. <laughs> uh, make sure you take the safety off before you pull the trigger. <laughs> <laughs> he makes faces at you too. <laughs> the three of you go to the go bag. You're standing at the back of this mall with this barricaded dumpsters. You're the brains, Harley. What are we doing? Uh, I'm thinking there's probably some tractor trailers that are parked near enough by. I'm going to try to scramble up on one, get a lay, and assess, assess a bad situation. So Yusuf's going to go with you, of course. There's one right there. Ladder in the back, Harley. You climb up it. You get up there. And your move is to assess a bad situation. When you assess yep. a bad situation, draw steel. On a triumph, you get to ask two. On an edge, you ask one. And when you act on the answer, draw plus one. 
So what do you have in steel? Because I'm, because I'm a lookout, I draw survival instead of steel Ooh, when I nice. assess from a safe distance. So I'll be pulling three. Two plus one? Uh, three, yeah. Because I'm rolling survival. Miss. Ooh, opportunity. I'll explain what an opportunity is in a second. An edge. All right, so the edge, you'll be able to pick one. Opportunity. If you mark a stress, you make it a triumph. Mm -hmm. If you don't, it's a miss. Uh, so yeah, I'll take the opportunity. I'll mark a stress, and uh... so you're going to get to ask two. But before you do that, mm -hmm. what was the opportunity? So you're standing up there, you're seeing some stuff. That's your edge. But then you took a little bit of stress. You push yourself a little bit, and how do you make yeah, this a so, triumph? So I think that this is a. It's one of those refrigerated tractor trailers so they've got that refrigerator unit on the top of it so i'm trying to you know trying to peek and so i step up on the the refrigerator unit and it's all rusted out so my foot just right right through it uh causes a bunch of noise you know scrapes up his shin a little bit um but i'm i'm able to still sort of get a get a second foot on it and climb up there get a better lay of what's going on all right so looking at our list because you now have a triumph what two are you asking me uh biggest threat to me to us i guess one. and uh most useful to my allies all right so what here is the biggest threat what here is the most useful to me? The biggest threat is the guy with the rifle on the roof who's laying low on his stomach and has got his rifle pointed in your direction. That's definitely the biggest threat. And what is most useful to you What is most useful to you? my allies. No, I want to introduce something new here. No, I mean, what is most useful to my allies is what I... Oh, okay. Yeah, it could be to... Uh, right, what's most useful to me or your or your allies. Um, there's gas in this truck. Yusuf kind of bangs on the truck side Harley he goes you see him it's see not him. do you see him mm -hmm. all right look I peeked in the front I think this thing I think this thing's got some juice in it Diesel so if you want to if we want to make gender. another yeah and, and uh, or I'm thinking too I could make us a new door <laughs> Uh, once I see the guy with the rifle, I'll slide off of the uh, tractor trailer top. Uh, got a. Now, was he. Is he just sort of scouting, or did he sort of have a bead on us? So it's a peaked roof, right? Mm -hmm. And the slants are facing you, right? The other slant is the other side. So it's the, the peak is perpendicular to you. He was, his shoulders are out on the peak with the gun. So the majority of his body is hidden by the slant on the back roof. So all you saw was his head, his shoulders, and the gun. Now, he could have shot you, and he didn't. But he definitely was tracking you. Gotcha. You don't have a sense of whether he knows you saw him. And Yusuf mm -hmm. was trying to be sly to not tip that off. Mm-hmm. Uh, Yusuf turns to Percy and Dexter and just kind of points up. Make sure you guys have eyeballs. Yeah. Look over. Who does who he see? I don't see anybody. Look up on the roof, too. Someone's watching us. 
just one person? One person with one. a gun. One's all I saw. I go into the go bag and I take out my hockey helmet and I put my <laughs> hockey helmet on and I have hockey gloves with nails ten penny nails through the through the, the fists. Yep. And uh um I used to be a hockey player and uh I'm ready to go in. I look to make sure nobody laughs at me. Oh, we're laughing. <laughs> they do. They laugh at you every time. <laughs> but every you guys time. usually yeah. make me go in and yeah. the, as the runner. So that's my deal. So it looks like, like Percy's right. gearing up to run in. I'm uh, I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready. Okay. All right. Well, what are you guys gonna do when I'm going? I think I kind of remember where that that uh that Med Express was. So, I mean, that's all I'm going in to get. You're not I stopping. Look, I look over at Mod. I'm like, I'm not stopping at the candy store. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you blew back. Dude, he is sitting in the car reading his book. Okay. Not even paying a lick of attention. The gun is just on the dash. <laughs> Guns yeah. on the dashboard. <laughs> is on the steering wheel. Oh, God He's like it. already three chapters in. You could All you right. could blow up this truck and it might get his attention. <laughs> All right. Well, that's your man. All right. We're All gonna right. do this like we did before. Remember, remember when we went to that home improvement center? Remember that time? Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna do it the same way. All right. Yeah. All right, well, we'll, we'll, we'll cover your retreat like we did last time. Uh, in and out. We're looking for antibiotics, all mint, oxycillin, amoxicillin, you know, all, any anything. Even if the amoxicillin's in that powder form. So. Uh, Yusef turns to you, Harley, and he goes, I mean, I can crow's nest up on top of the truck if you want me to. Or I can come in with you what you want. Uh, let's, uh, let's have, let's go in. That's yeah, good. Just, again, That's you're good. not, yeah, just please, you, you know the deal. Stay, stay near the entrance and exit. I gotta get there by myself. Percy, oh. you're the last son of a bitch I'm listening to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he really does. Look, if there's, if there's one, there's probably multiple, right? So... Just, just be ready. All right. All right. Uh, I'm gonna play my past. Ooh. Oh, okay. Because of Yusef. Screw you, Yusef. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is the past? Let me find you. Play it, Lou. How do I flip it? Why is it? Right, right click and flip it. Oh, sorry. Flip. Vagrant. Uh. So, I'm technically offering to do a job in exchange for supplies, and when it's revealed, I draw one plus one when I act without eyes on me. So, uh, so you want a distraction? Myself. It sounds like yes. Yep. Uh, we can we can rig up a distraction. Yeah. I don't think we got anything to carry back this diesel anyway. So, well, at least we know it's here. And we can yeah, just mark back. it. You know, like we you know, future score. All right. I'm ready to go. What's the plan, Dexter and Harley? Am I exiting the same way I'm going in? I'm yeah, asking looks, everybody. Yeah, of course. That's the easiest way. Why don't okay. I look with them? Um, it, so in the go bag for me, I, I like to uh, I use one of those big plumbing wrenches. And uh, they laugh at me because I put on the uh, umpire vest. <laughs> I'm not laughing. I don't know. Just to kind of protect my chest. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and a hard so What's hat. the distraction? What do, how are we going to distract uh, uh, Gun Boy here so that Percy can run in? And is, are we sending Percy in by himself? What are we doing here? Uh, no, we're going to cover. We're going to all go, go in, but we're going to cover. We're going to go in, but then I'm going to go get in. He's going to do his thing. Yeah. 
I think we have Yusuf ram ram the far wall away from the entrance with the with the semi. Sounds good. So, Percy, he points you off. He, had, Yusuf, says to you, to Harley and Dexter, bumper. Just freaking hold on, all right? All right. He gets up front. <laughs> and just the black smoke is like filling the air. You guys are back there. This thing has not been turned on in a while. It's that nasty diesel, like, Jesus smell, right? Mm-hmm. And cr- 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 he puts it into Roger, gear. And, <laughs> and he peels this thing out like it is a Maserati. And this <laughs> thing goes, he jumps out. He yells, jump! As he rolls. <laughs> All right. You jump, jump in there, uh, yeah, jump it off, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, jump it off. Yeah. All right. I need an avert disaster flip from both of you. When you try to avert disaster, say what you're trying to prevent and draw survival. On a triumph, you manage it. On an edge, you pull through, but it'll cost you. And the GM will offer you a hard bargain, ugly choice, or paretic victory. So who's going to draw uh, survival just, first to avert disaster, Dexter or Harley? I'll, I'll draw first. We're just drawing one, I, I, I'm guessing. It's survival, whatever your survival rating is. Okay, I get to draw two. Okay. Uh, all right, let's see what we got here. I got an edge. Nice. Go ahead and play it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Most definitely. All right. Play it, and then you can just t- click on it and delete it. So that means yeah. I'm gonna, it's going to cost you. I'm going to cost you cost you a stress here. So you're going to mark okay. a stress, but I want you to walk me through a Dexter. This thing goes crowing through. We see Yusuf jump out right before it hits the ball. He yells as he's rolling, tucking and rolling like a stunt man. He yells, jump! What do you do, Dexter? I, I, I hesitate because I've never done this before. But I, I managed to jump off, but I land awkwardly uh, trying to tuck and roll. And uh, I just kind of dip into the wall just a bit, just kind of roll into the wall for the momentum. Gotcha. All right. What you can do, and I think the easiest way to do it, uh, Troy, is just go to the free hand with a paintbrush and okay. just draw an X on one of your stress boxes. Roger. Deck's ready for a draw. Let's do it. Avert disaster. Okay, so I'm drawing three for survival. Yes. Edge. Yes, man, we can't we can't get a triumph here. What'd you end up with? I uh, got an edge. Couldn't play him down, play him down and delete him. Alright. Same thing. I'm gonna give you a stress. What happens when you jump off? Uh so. I didn't think that this was the plan, you know, that, <laughs> that, that, that me and Yusuf's communication was, was slightly off on this whole plan thing. Uh, so I was expecting, you know, he was going to like scrape along the side of the building and then we were going to jump off after he come to a stop, not, you know, barrel into it after we jumped off. Uh, so I'm late actually jumping off. Uh, and I actually jump off just a, a few seconds before it actually hits the building. Uh, so I don't really have momentum. I, I kind of slam against the back of it because I have the forward momentum of going with the truck when I jump off and then it abruptly stops and then I smack into the back of it. And you and you, you just have to like crawls over to you and grabs you like by your shoulder and just drags you. So you're out, out of sight of the guy in the truck. In the meantime, Percy, I'm not. You don't need to flip for this. You're. That's enough of a distraction. So, what's your what's your path? So yeah, I was obviously I was checking the doors. I found one that was open, and as soon as I realized the thing's gonna hit, I go in, and I'm I'm running like I'm just running through the mall. Uh, I kind of remember where that place was, and and I am running. I I just rely on my speed. So are you gonna are you going back to reconnect with the other guys? Are you I'm, I'm running to get the items 
that I need to get. Because that's that's a couple floors up and a couple buildings down. I, you know what? I'll go to the second floor. I know where they we're gonna drive in, and I'm gonna run along the second floor so I can see them where they're entering the building. Got it. At Got least it. I can make eye contact with them, and I'm on the second floor. Yeah. So as you guys work your way into the building, uh, so Harley, uh, Yusuf, and Dexter, you work your way like along the side of the truck in the new newly created uh, portal. Uh, you go, and you can see one of the uh z staircases because this is an old building and just kind of sitting there leaning back against the railing is percy kind of got his arms crossed (laughs) go (laughs) that's it they're all in there and uh and that's it i'm gonna i'm gonna make my way so now that i know they're in the building and everyone's okay apparently and uh, Yusuf again turns to you, Harley. He's like, "Stay and going where you want me, boss." Uh, do we see anybody else immediately drawn to this? No, but if there if there's more than just this guy, you guys made a big noise. Yeah. Uh, take cover. Watch the situation. So looking for, you know, something in this mall to, to sort of duck behind and uh, make sure we don't get snuck up on. Yeah, I'll make sure that this door is still here. <laughs> don't be taking long, though. All right. Harley, Percy and Dex, what are we doing? They can hear my uh, as I'm running through the building. I mean, again, oh, they, they, it's, they're it's, there. Somehow yeah. you got inside the building, went up yeah. a flight, went down the hall, and down half a flight. Yeah. And you're standing there as they pull in. Oh, okay. So the three of you are together. Yeah. So do you want us to? I kind of give you that look. You, you want us to go? You, you want us to go with you? What, 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 do? what if we do like the halfway thing? Okay. Like let's let's get us halfway there. And then let me go and come back. Okay. But uh, so yeah, let's do that. Let's get halfway All right. there. All right. So you are working these, and this—it's not like a, like an open air mall, right? Like these are bookshops that they're like different rooms in these buildings were converted to different shops, and they try to make the hallway look like it's outside. They have like fake green trees and outdoor windows to each of the shops as you're going by um you guys are working your way you know the employees uh section of the mall is down and and off on the top top third floor there um as you guys are going dexter there's a shop you walk by that you think you could find some useful shit in there and it makes you pause for a second what is it you're here for the medicine, but this this makes you stop for a second. Uh, it's an old uh, it's an old Radio Shack, so it has like <laughs> some old batteries in there, D size, uh, you know, all the sizes that you need, and some electronic gear and wires and shit. So just grab some stuff, just random stuff. So you you pause in front of the Radio Shack. Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah, saying something. You just going in. What are you doing? Um, hey. I, I, I'm going to grab some batteries. Y'all, y'all keep going. I'll catch up. Uh, that's a horrible idea. <laughs> and, and this is now the second time. And I like look back to the hole in the wall. We're getting books. We're getting batteries. We're only here to get what we need to get. But you know, we got to bring back some extra some, it's batteries, dude. Dude, we're, we're, we're dressed up like bench warming rejects. <laughs> to go and get a bunch of this is not funny okay 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 really not. okay all right we'll go we'll stay I'll, focused I'll thanks you man. nick i was getting i was getting off focus all right come on let's just go come on come on we can mark and this place i later. am the advisor when i offer someone advice and they do what i suggest then they clear stress oh very nice My bad. game in the game very nice. game in the game <laughs> <laughs> 
you'll be able to highlight it, uh, Troy, and delete it. Your little okay. drawing. So I'll figure it out. <laughs> you guys working away down this hallway. Man, it's wicked freaking quiet, man. Wicked freaking quiet. And you get to you get to an employee's employee entrance only at the end of the hall. The door's closed. No window. Okay. I look at Yusef. You're up, man. He looks oh, no, at he's, wait, oh, he's watching the door. Never mind. Yeah. He's not there. Just three of you. I look for Yusef. <laughs> <laughs> what are you looking for? <laughs> who's, uh, who's got the door? Uh, I'll take the door. Uh, locked, open, squeaky. So it's it's one of those push, right? So it's got the bar, and you, you can push it to open it. All right. I got the door. I got one, three. One, two, three. Click, click. <laughs> click. It clicks. Uh -huh. It pushes open. And you see the stairwell that so goes down to the first floor, and the stairwell continues up to the second floor let a sigh of relief out because there's not some crazy dudes pointing guns at you right <laughs> they're trying to pull you through a bookcase and this all happens in half a second you look up and you see the rope attached to the corner of the door harley and percy hear the ceiling behind them give way all in one second we see the door slide open we hear it <laughs> and the hallway behind you crash the ceiling crashes out and you can fucking hear them before you can see them oh, shit. and the rubble starts to move and you you know you know this is so <laughs> you start you see hands starting to come out from under the rubble of the <laughs> Shit! Right, fuck. Uh, so the rubble is uh, on where we pushed in from the door, or from? The, the, no, oh. the rubble's behind you. It's where you yeah. came from. Okay. Yeah. So the entire hallway behind you is now collapsed, and it's <sighs> it's it's full of rubble. And whatever was above this, the crash down with it, is crawling its way out of it. And you can hear the, uh, and you see, like some of the concrete and some of the wood and you can see this rope as you look up dexter goes right into the wall right into the space between the uh, floor and the ceiling of the next floor so someone set this up fuck let's just let's get, let's get moving let's get moving yeah Come we on. gotta just go we just gotta we gotta hightail it now yeah let's go going up yeah yeah okay you guys start and head up you turn the corner and it's all metal rebar blocking the third floor. So someone has taken and and welded rebar and it's completely blocking. It's like a web blocking entrance to the landing on that third floor. Dude, who's got time to make traps like this? This is ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> Checked in their territory. Yeah. There was nobody here a month ago. What can happen in a month? Um, I have to fight the zombies to get uh, find another way up to the third floor, or right, go down to the I first know. and backtrack up. I tighten my chin strap. Another <laughs> two clicks. All right. And, uh, all right. We doing this? Uh, uh, we doing this? Let's do it. I turn back around to the rebar. I'm like, I'm not punching through that. Right. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> So we're going pipe. back down? Going back we're, down. We're going back down. Got my pipe wrench. Okay. You get down to the second landing, you can now see, and there's, you could see six of them, but there's probably more, and they're just starting to stand up and, and just ramble towards you guys. And are, are you heading, heading back down? Let's go back down to the first floor. 
see if we can find another way up. Hopefully that's not blocked. What are we doing? Yeah. Yes, yeah. Yes. yeah, if that's open and clear and sure. So you start stepping a little bit of uh, wind, behind, wind behind your back, right? After seeing those things walking towards you um, on the way that you, you know, got in here, you stop and Dexter, you throw your hand up like a mom in the front seat, slamming the brakes. And you see another one of those ropes on the steps before you get to the half landing. Holy shit. And you stop everybody. And it's, it's tied and then it runs into the wall. Watch out. You can hear them. These Step guys over. are sick. These guys yeah, are yeah. sick. Whoever's doing this. Step wow. over. We, we got it. We got to get. Fight. We ain't we, coming down we here. Hey, we don't. Let's turn around. We can't turn around. Don't give a shit. You ain't coming down here. Fuck. Dude, we don't want no problems. We're just trying to. Uh, I don't you know. want no problems. None of us want problems. This is our place now. You just turn around. I'll start shooting your ankles if you step down. Oh, don't need to get shot. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Just calm down. Just calm Everybody's down. Everything's calm down here. No, I want to. I want to shoot him. Can I shoot him? Rowdy. All right, let's just go back up, and we're gonna have to find another way, because they got they got the jump on us, and we ain't got no guns. Is the only way through, like back on the second floor, uh, is the only way through the horde, or is there more hallway? There's a couple shop between you like, and the horde. Down. Depends on how far the yeah. horde's gotten, though. Every second right, you're yeah. standing there, the horde yeah, gets closer. <laughs> yep. Back up, back up, back up. Back out in a second. Let's go. All right, you guys get up to that second landing. And, I mean, it's going to be close trying to get into one of those shops. Um, let's take a look, quick look at our uh, zombie moves. And I think we, this is might be where we are. So take a quick peek uh, here at the zombie moves, and you tell me which one of these look good to you. I mean, I I feel like fleeing right now is yeah. what we're trying to do. Yeah, flee the dead. I was thinking go on point. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not, not yet. <laughs> yeah. We do flee the dead right now. <clears throat> we're going to make a plan? I don't make a plan. I don't think we have time to make a plan right now. Yeah. We've got to bust up there and get out of the way. we got to get at least somewhere relatively right. Leave the dead. We're doing it. Leave the dead. All right, who has the best survival? Uh, I have a three. Yes, that's it. I got a two. Uh, I, yeah, I have a three, and yeah, I'm not active. Well, so I don't get the okay, let me quickly look up the help mechanic. Give me one second. Can you help or interfere with another PC? Mark stress to draw cards equal to their face-up identity cards. Ah, that's right. That's the benefit of, of flipping up. So you can take a stress equal to their face-up identity cards to give them cards. Uh, so, Percy, you want to help me? We both have two face-up identities, so. Sure. So you draw two cards... And I have to take two stress. Is that what that was? No, you just mark one stress. Mark stress oh. to draw cards equal to your face up identity card. So mark one stress, draw two cards, and then you can replace any card from my draw with the card you drew before the results are evaluated. All right. So I'm drawing two survival cards. Yep. All right. Yep. So you keep them in your hand. <clears throat> and then Harley, you're dry. You're doing three, right? With your survival. What's your best card? I got miss, miss, triumph. Don't even need it. <laughs> you don't even need me. You don't even need me. Yay. Okay, on a hit, you escape and choose one. So, do you want to run into another danger or crisis? 
leave you leave something or someone valuable behind or you draw from the bike deck or suffer serious harm your choice Damn. and then i get to choose one so my two cards are done right since he didn't yep. need them uh yeah i'll recall i'll recall them for you So I'm going to say run into another danger or crisis. Okay. So you're going to run into another danger or crisis. And I'm going to make you draw from the bite deck or suffer serious harm. It's your choice. And you can see what serious harm is on the uh, on your sheet. It breaks down what serious harm is. Take a bite. All right. Draw it up. Threat, something breaks, something in your environment breaks, the GM will tell you what. All right, there's a store on your right, a store on your left. Which one do you go into? Left. You guys run, you follow Harley into the left. What kind of store is it? Uh, it's like a fast fashion Forever 21. Okay. <laughs> Whole bunch of whole bunch of racks. Some of the clothes are still hanging. Some aren't. It's kind of like an Etsy boutique one, though, right? Um, mm -hmm. Kind of like a crunchy one, a little bit. And <laughs> you kind of working your way back. You see the flash through the back window that looks out out to the back parking lot, and you hear the explosion. There's no doubt in your mind it's the truck. Something blew up the truck. The new danger is as you peek out and see that the truck's on fire, you can see coming in the parking lot are more dead. And they're headed towards the Volkswagen. Love it. So the ones in the hallway, you've, you've, you've escaped them for now. And all yeah. of these are connected, so you can go from yeah. store to store. Yeah. That's our ride, man. Like, you yeah. gotta... But we gotta get the we gotta get gotta, the antibiotics. Gotta get the drugs. Yeah, this is probably the, the best chance that we right got. Now. All right, we just gotta find another way up to the third floor. You know, there's always another way. Let's go. Go to the center, and then we just is walk it, the stairs there. Is it like open? Like, so I'm imagining like openings that go all three floors wide. So in like, like holes in the holes in the floor and holes yeah. in the ceiling. Is that what you mean? Can yeah. Can I assess a bad situation? I sure mean, can. Can uh, get us somewhere. Yep. Uh, this definitely. This definitely qualifies. So. <laughs> uh, so you're gonna draw steel. I'm gonna draw steel, which is a measly one. And let's see what happens. Ooh, opportunity. That's like all I need one car. That's it. All right. You're going to take the stress to make it a triumph? Absolutely. Ask two. Uh, and what we need right now is we need to know what is my best way past to get to where we need to go so let's see that's this is assess a bad situation uh the what here's the biggest one. threat third one. Third what one. is my best escape route well no it's escape route way in or, or way, way in past. or way past okay i want way past this got trap it. that we're dealing with yep these uh booby traps so you want to what's the best way up yep <clears throat> and then yep. uh I would like to roll that into who here is the most vulnerable to my allies. So if there's more than one of these guys here, I want to try to maybe we can team up on one of them and 
take one out of the picture. So you peek out the second floor window, just trying to trying to get your fucking bearings. You can see the dead shambling past the window of this of this clothing shop. They're not paying attention to you though. They're headed headed towards that stairwell. Um, your best way in is out and up. So okay. you can see that there is like a fire ladder to the right hand side here. So if you guys get out of there, you can climb that fire ladder. And there's a window direct up, directly above you that'll get you get you up to the third floor. It's fire ladder um, has been broken and rusted off though, so it's a good 15 feet down. So this may not be your escape, but it's definitely your best way up to the third floor. And then what is who here is is most vulnerable to me? To my, my allies. allies or the dead. I think the guys on the first floor, I think their little stupid plan backfired because you're okay. seeing them pour into that stairwell. Uh -huh. So they're the ones that are most vulnerable to the dead right now because those things aren't going to go up or they're going to try okay. to and turn around. All right. So I'm not worried about those guys then. All right, guys, let's go. Out and up. Right. Out and up. All right, so you guys swing out, climb yeah. up. As you're up there, you can see Harley. Yusuf is safely far away from the truck. No idea what blew it up. He gives you kind of a peace sign as soon as he sees you, lets you know he's okay. And he's kind of holed up, and you see him gesturing at the people coming towards uh, Ahmed and the, and the car. And he just he doesn't know what to do. He kind of shrugs his shoulders at you. Um, I'm going to give them hand signals to basically pull the car farther up, like the river. So get to the car before the dead does. Yeah. And have them move the car up, you know, further away. All right. So we're going to do an NPC allies. So essentially <laughs> we're going to have to find, we're going to have to get out a different way to yep. get to the car, but they are going to potentially be out of it's our it's our standards uh secondary uh <laughs> you know meet up yeah. point yeah you know, we, already have, we, already oh, we have totally planned but beforehand yeah yeah, yeah. So so when, you direct, the when you direct your allies to take action draw two cards from the survivor deck if the action is in line with the ally's skills so what are uh use of skills his skills are intimidation scavenging and violence I think this counts as between scavenging and violence. I think he gets a plus one. I think he's going to intimidate has Ahmed to move his car. So he, he's definitely got the he's equipment because he took a sledgehammer with him. So mm -hmm. that's another car. All right. So it's going to be plus two. So, so you're going to draw four cards for him. All right. So uh, miss. That's great. Miss. Uh, triumph. Yeah. All right. Okay. And a miss. On a triumph, everything goes according to plan. So he gives you the, the sign, puts the sledgehammer on his shoulder and just runs in like a, like a linebacker. And you can see him, once he gets to the golf, he slams his fist onto the, the hood of, of the car. You see Ahmed like jump and the book flies off. And he looks around, he's like, and you see him move over to the passenger side and you see Yusef go in there as you get to the, second, uh, to the third floor window. Nice. Percy, you you're the first one in. Uh, what what is the shop on the third floor? Uh, shop on the third floor is a mattress store. Okay. Uh, all, all the mattresses are like flipped up and just like yeah. all over the place, and you know I kind of can't see where we're going through, but it's all blind corners. <clears throat> but uh, I'm gonna make my way through, following my fists, my fists of nails. <laughs> <clears throat> And, uh, so making my way to yeah wherever as you're working through percy all three of you are seeing signs the people have been living here there's nobody in this shop but you can see like some of the mattresses are there and they've got like blankets on them right uh and you can see like a lantern next to one of the like so some somebody or some buddies have been living in this mattress store as you work your way through it uh it's hard to grab the lantern with my gloves i try I grab but I motioned to one of them to grab the lantern. I grabbed the lantern. <laughs> All right. So you're at the hallway. You look left, look right. 
to the right, you can see the door has been blown out, and you can see that rebar welding now from the other side. You look to your left, and you can see the employee-only entrance, which is just catty corner to where you are. Yeah, so we're going that way. Just we got to get to that med place. <clears throat> Uh, this time, I know better than to just push the door open. <laughs> Next, do it. We're, we're not we're not playing Dungeons and Dragons. Why would I check traps? <laughs> Dex, the open the door. No, um, uh, I'll hit the emergency thing and and push it ever so slightly, looking for that rope again. We've seen it twice already. Harley and Dexter, what are you doing? Uh, Percy takes right the lead here. Him. Right behind him. Uh, you know, I say, hey, look, I didn't know. We were, we were checking the traps. <laughs> Harley? Just covering our six, looking behind us, seeing if anybody's coming up after us. No ropes. No ropes. Uh, they figured the rebar was good enough. No one was going to get this far. So <clears throat> I, I, I pushed the door open. You do notice there's a hole bored into this <clears throat> door. So maybe they just haven't gotten to it yet. But it's the same type of hole where they had a rope and the other one. So maybe they hadn't started it yet or it's already been tripped, but they had rigged this one too. Okay. There's no rope attached to it. All right. Do I have my bearings? Like, do I know still where we have to go? I mean, Not a whole lot to linear. go, right? Yeah. It's a hallway. There's a break room to the left. There's... Uh, um, uh, employee restrooms on the right and then there's their little first aid station uh, which is essentially just a, a supply closet okay <clears throat> well that may make sense to grab that too while we're here for for grabbing stuff if there's just a first aid thing on the wall no, no, no. Uh, no, oh. it's like it, it's like a supply closet, which is like. Oh, first oh yeah, aid. yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Just, right okay. for the like, it, this is not for customers who pay money. This is for employees that we're barely paying. So, yeah, like, right. there's band aids, band aids, band -aids right. and rotted gauze. It's great. Exactly. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna go straight to the hallway towards yeah. Square Bird. Whatever's order, next. Order. I'm right to the uh, hallway. Go ahead. Yeah. I'm right behind uh, first year. Like I'm frantic. Like I'm just. Yeah, yeah. I know we got to get out. I'm just. I'm, I'm opening doors and and just trying to get us forward. So first you turn the corner and you look into this little first aid station, and they're shelving a good number of boxes and big white pill bottles uh, on this supply closet. There's also somebody slouched on the ground. Um, woman looks like a teenager um her head's down she's holding her arm and you can just see all kinds of blood seeping through her fingers and she's wearing a uh like an employee uniform for like a uh like a a, a, a claire's right like a cheap uh a trinket store um and she looks up and she goes oh my god oh thank god are, are you okay? <laughs> there's, there's people downstairs. There's dead across the river on the bridge. I ran out of food. So I came up here. Out of, I've been living in the shop for a while now. And anytime looters would come, I'd just hide up in the attic. But like these guys aren't leaving. And, and, and she like lifts her hand on her shoulder, and you can see it's a bullet wound. Oh, it's a bullet wound. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. Fine. I, I, That's fine. I thought we have to, thought we have to kill a survivor. <laughs> <laughs> Put her out of misery. <laughs> uh, who, who I'm out of food. I just went down. I was trying to go downstairs. I'm out of food. Okay. I was just trying to go downstairs. All right. Go. You have to... Do we have uh, any food uh, in the uh, bag? We're not going to be out that long. Okay, which is... Dex, just rip that green bottom off the Twinkie and give it to her. <laughs> okay. <laughs> First of all, I didn't know I, Twinkies I, I, can I, turn I, green. But that's I, right, right. 
I'll do anything if you get me out of here. All right, we can get you. But right now, let's just y'all go look. For, I'll I'll take care of her. Y'all go look for the whatever we need, and I'll, I'll see if I can grab some gauze. And... All right, um, we're coming right back here. But this I'll is all right the same here. room, so she's oh, on the floor the of this clinic. Oh, okay, so yeah. I'll just pull her out so we can get room in there because it's a supply closet, and y'all can just, just grab the boxes, you know, with okay. there's any whatever they are. We'll, we'll I have these giant back. hockey gloves. It's just not working. <laughs> it is I damn hockey gloves. I'm like, <laughs> I take I take one off <laughs> every, time. every time. Every time. Every time we got to grab some of these damn hockey gloves. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna forge for supplies. So uh, we're going to do this first. Um, we're going to draw three cards from the survivor deck. For each hit, you're going to take plus one gear. Uh, and then you can spend it on the gear. Who wants to draw it? It's just three. First. I can't, I can't draw cards with this hockey gloves on. Okay, I got you. I'll, I'll draw the three. Dexia, you're busy with the girl. It's going to have to be Harley. Harley, girl, yeah, yeah. Harley, go for it. Okay. All right. I got you. Uh, three cards. There's an edge. There's an edge. There's an edge. Looks like it's an edge, boys. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right. Three hit, For each hit, take yeah. one gear. That's awesome. When it, uh, spend it uh, the way you find one of the foraging. A triumph counts as plus two, so you got th- plus three. So you got three gear. Let's do it. So what do we find? Antibiotics. Yeah. Definitely. That's one of them. So you want to spend two gear on the small or limited? Or do you want to go three gear for a whole ship ton of it? But it's going to be difficult or bulky. See where it says spending gear right under it, under uh, the game master? Uh See where it says forging for supplies? Bottom left corner. Uh, I say we spend two gear on a, a small stash of antibiotics and one gear on something useful and disposable. What's the useful thing you find? One uh, use. I'll let you think about it. I cut outside Dexter. She's in the hallway. And okay. she's like, I'm feeling a little dizzy. Uh, it's just, just shock. I'm going to need you to get it together here, okay? Just you want to get out, I'm going to need you to pull your shit together. Or we're going to leave your ass here. Can, can, can you... Can you? Can you? Damn. Can you um? Can you at least stop the bleeding? Yeah, yeah. Can I, I got some... I grab some gauze, like, you know, wrap it up. Uh, give her a couple of, you know, give her like three Tylenol 800s. <laughs> okay. And... and, and um. As you, as you come back, you know, she's, you can see she's like blinking, blinking a lot. And she's, she seems reluctant to, to move her hand. I look under that hand. I said, I need to see this so we can get this wrapped up. So she, she moves it. She moves her hand and you can see like the hole in the, in her uniform, right? Where the bullet went in and you can see the hole where it went out. Okay. And two things happen at once. You recognize that it's ketchup, and you feel the point of that knife on your nuts. Oh, son of bitches. She goes, don't you say a fucking word. But she doesn't know that I have a lot of trauma. <laughs> that I'm not ready to reveal. So before, before, you, before you reveal it, re- read it close first to make sure you're flipping it right. Yeah. All right. Uh, the yes. uh, the the disposable thing that I find is a the the dregs of a vodka bottle uh, oh. that can be turned into a Molotov. Very but nice. a very, very brief Molotov. Yep, yep. It, okay. it may not set a building on fire, but it'll light up a room. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my reveal is explosive. Why reveal? Draw two, uh, draw plus two when you unexpectedly act out with violence or aggression. <laughs> Mark stress when someone gets in your face and oh. you don't retaliate. 
There you okay. go. Okay. <laughs> All right. Put that trauma in your uh, <laughs> face up on your card there. This is definitely turn to violence. <laughs> yeah. Hold on here. So before we flip anything, you look at that catch up. You see her expression fade and you feel right in your tidy whities the the point has gone through the pants and the tidy whities and it's scraping the bottom of it so, craig you're evil uh, I don't just do the, say a word and i don't say anything but i give her the biggest headbutt that she's ever had in her entire life with right your forehead those, with my forehead okay all right, let's get turn to violence. When you turn to violence against the uninfected, draw savagery on a hit, trade harm, and choose options. On a triumph, right. choose three. On an edge, choose two. All right. Well, I have I get to draw four because of the plus two. And let's see what happens. Uh, the best card I have is an opportunity. Okay. Which so you can I'm take, take stress to turn that into a uh, triumph. Yes. Mark the stress. What do you? What's your stress situation, Dexter? Um, I'm only at one because I, I got it uh, when I listened to his advice. I got one taken away. Mm -hmm. Choose three. All right. This basic move. Do you see where the move is? Yeah. Hold on here. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, turn to violence. Uh. One, I'm going to inflict in, in terrible harm. Okay. Uh, resist marking distress. Okay. And avoid collateral damage. So my sack is okay. And so you're <laughs> you're going to end up. So normally we trade harm. So normally you you give her stress, she gives you stress. You're okay. going to you're going to save that. Um, right. Triumph, and you headbutt her, and just it splits just her eye socket just splits and collapses and she doesn't even make a sound her head just goes up against the wall and she just slides and falls to the ground and you hear the knife clink clang on the floor below you as harley and percy step out what the <laughs> and they're probably looking like what the what it's catch up. Thing was... that got you locked up. Hey, listen. Put my other it. glove back on. It's catch, up. <laughs> <laughs> it's catch up. She had a knife at my sack. I, I, oh, I, well, I they're totally go. justifiable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, we clearly see like the knife in her hand, and yeah. So, um, I pick up the knife and add it to my collection of. Uh, yep. Uh, You're on the third okay. floor. All right. We got the antibiotics. We got a bottle of uh, we need to vodka. Get out of here. Right. We'll just go in where we came in. Uh, we'll go back down the ladder, and then we'll figure it out from there. Yeah, that's our... Well, that's it's our just way. a reminder, going back down that ladder... Oh, yeah, yeah, it just says good. rebar. That's Yeah, yeah you, all you got is rebar on one side, bad guys on the bottom, and then a block... I mean, that thing was completely destroy that hallway um i i know this sounds crazy well the, the ladder was uh when we came in from the outside right so the yeah. ladder is how you went from the second floor to the third floor but it doesn't extend to the first crazy floor so good. the ladder is not going to get you down to the parking lot so guys just hear me out for a second okay here if we take all those mattresses and we throw them out there and we just jump. I mean, there's like 10 mattresses here. I've seen it in the movie. Jackie Chan did it. That is a stupid idea. <laughs> I didn't say it's the best idea. But it's an iron item. Hey, but yeah. No. <laughs> well, all we got to do is just make it ten feet. Jump ten feet. It's better than going through the zombie yeah, we, and or we get, get shot down to by the these second floor. 
They're up here. We throw them all out. We're at the second floor. I mean, you, you stack ten mattresses on top of each other. That, like, splits the difference. Yeah, if you can throw them down and they land on each other. Right. That is... What are we doing? That is part of a plan. Uh... Well, something better. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> what are we doing? Mattress store, third floor. Uh, if you guys listen to me, you're going to get a plus one. Yeah. Just to say it. I, it's the best plan we got. <laughs> yeah. It's a dumb plan. Okay. But it's yeah. the best plan we got. So we're, we're watching the three of you just take these mattresses and just shoving them out this window. And we see them right. pop out. And just float down <laughs> to the ground. Now, you guys, when you look back out again, the Volkswagen's gone. Mm -hmm. So Yusuf did his job. Mm -hmm. And there's not like a dead Ahmed there either. So that's good. <laughs> but we do now have walkers just kind of wandering aimlessly in this back parking lot. They don't seem I'd to rather, give two shits about the about the mattresses, though. I'd rather risk them than you know these these humans in here that seem Good pretty shot, sadistic. Right. So, right. <clears throat> okay. I just went off the building. So we just gotta we could hang we could hang a drop from the fire escape from this little ledge, so we don't have to drop the full ten feet. So, Greg, sure are you, we you are we doing a make a plan roll? No, because it's not against the dead. So I think this is going to end up being an, another avert disaster. Avert disaster, um, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be an avert disaster for each of you to make the jump. Um, and to Dexter's point, you're not going to go a full 15 feet because you can grab onto that last rung and kind of go down and make it just a, a 10 foot drop. So um, even on misses and stuff, I don't anticipate this being serious harm. Okay. Uh, and then we did what what uh, percy was planning so we can clear stress how does that work percy? Stress, yeah. uh yes so if you immediately do for advice when i offer advice they drop plus one if they do what you suggest right then and there they clear stress nice i do not but they and and you clear one stress when someone follows your advice Oh yeah, I do too. Oh, look at that. Very nice. And Good then you help. guys do what? You also get a plus one. Is that I hear that as well? Yeah, for doing that plan. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Somehow I feel like we All should right. be more stressed doing this, but we're not. <laughs> well, All right, who's hat? Who, we're old hat. So who's the first one to drop? We do this all the time. Uh, I'll, it, I'll go first. It was my plan. I'll go first. All right, Percy. Just to show, show so me can be done. Break but you're going to have to draw angles. survival. What's your survival? Uh, my survival <laughs> is three with the plus one, so it's four. So it's two plus one? Uh, three. three. Two three. plus one. Or is it three yes. plus one? No, it's three plus one. Three plus one. You have a three. Well, I, I have a three in survival, survival and okay. then the so plus three one. Three plus one, you're drawing four. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, it says trying to draw from a deck with no more cards. All right, hold on. Right now. There we go. Sweet. What'd you get? Two edges and an opportunity and a miss. Okay. So we should be good. Well, I should be good. So on a triumph, you manage it. On an edge, <laughs> you pull through, but it's going to cost you. So what are you going to do? Uh, I'll take the stress to try triumph. To make it a triumph. All yeah. right. Mark the stress. Um, this goes from a fail to a triumph, and I want to know how. So you're hanging on the edge of this thing. Uh, hang on the edge. Uh, I hit the mattresses and they all topple over they literally they clearly were all like barely Jenga, standing barely up the 10 of them <laughs> and i literally hit it and they flopped over i don't know how but you guys just see me disappear into a couple mattresses and somehow one was underneath me and you see i push one off, i push one off and i'm just laying there on the mattress and i'm like see piece of cake <laughs> Who's next? 
Because Percy's making a bunch of noise in a parking lot full of walkers. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. right. It's like, shut up. <laughs> Look, I didn't stab myself in my uh, I get to draw three all together. Two plus one? Yep. Let's see what we got. I got a triumph. Yes. Ooh. Tell me about the triumph. What's it look like? So I see how Percy landed and and <laughs> is like, no, nah, don't do that. <laughs> and I just kind of uh, do a little parkour roll, you know, just land and bend my knees perfectly and just roll out of it and then stand up. Be like, yeah. Finishes the roll was... on two flat feet. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Harley, you work your way down that ladder. Yep. Your right hand's holding on to the last rung. Yeah. What's your survival? Uh, it's three, so three plus one, four. Nice. Cards. Let's see. Miss. Edge. Miss. Miss. So I got an edge. All right. Um, you're going to come down, and you have a choice. You can mark two stress, or you can scream. Not both. Do you want to mark two stress or do you want to scream when you hit? Uh, I'll mark two stress. You land about you. and the right the entire like 70% of your right side lands on a mattress, but your left knee goes right into the right into the pavement. And it's like Ooh! and that's the two stress as you hold them back. The, Son the, of your, a bitch Percy. Yep. <laughs> so here's the situation the three of you are at these mattresses the car is gone the truck is on fire the, the, the refrigerator truck is on fire walkers are waiting for you to get get their attention as they're just kind of shambling around all right well we we gotta get out of here so uh set you up and, and let's get to our secondary spot. Go to our meetup spot. Okay, this is going to be another zombie move. So look at your menu. Right. Go stealthy. Fool the dead. Uh, Can we use that mini Molotov to fool them there, uh, Harley? Uh, yeah, we can yeah. do that and just throw it uh, past them and just to get their attention. We already got the truck on fire, so we have a way to light it. Let's do that. Okay. Uh, All right. So, who's, gonna draw, who's got the best steel? I think we all have twos, right? No, I have one. Uh, yeah. I have it too. Okay, so me. All right, so who's who's <laughs> fooling the dead? Is it Harley or is it? Uh, yep, it'll be me. I'll okay. I'll light up the the barely there Molotov and give it a huck. All right, so and let me you just... get plus one because I suggested it. I'm good with that. I'm going to recall gonna them all. This... Oh, good. Uh, Shuffle. You got stressed. a fresh My fresh thing. survivor deck. Uh, just clear this stress because I'm acting on a plan from our advisor. Triumph! On a hit, your efforts to mislead them work. Choose one. I'm going to say uh, deception is incomplete or brief. It's All just, right, walk it's me through the, it. It's a, it's a flash more than a, a Molotov. It's a flash bomb. So it gets there. It turns their attention, but they're not like shambling toward it necessarily. So we've got to act very quickly to. Uh, Where are we going? Uh, up. So, you know, Yusuf took the car like up closer to the river. Uh, so we're heading that direction. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to go where we think it's supposed to be. Yep, so you, you guys are beelining it. This 
bottle that uh, Harley blew uh, through has created a fire now, just kind of like in the spot in the back parking lot. And it's definitely getting their attention. So as you're running like along the edge of the building, in the back of this building, the, the dead, even as you're walking past, are walking past you towards towards this fire because the moans are coming from there, right? The noises are coming from there. Turn the corner. You see the Volkswagen, right? God bless that man. <laughs> right parked next to the river. There's nobody in it. Oh. Is the Percy Jackson book in it? You guys run up there. You see the Percy Jackson book on the floor of the passenger side. Oh, he went and threw that on the floor. There's no way. The gun's gone too, right? <sighs> Mother. We can't. Looks like. Uh... All right, all right. Look around, make sure they're not, you know, taking a piss together. <laughs> let's, let's get uh, let's get in the car and start it. Anything? Start like don't no? don't don't skip on a move, guys. So I'm looking at rescue an NPC, but I don't know what the rescue people. I, I I think assess a bad situation could be helpful here. Oh yeah, yeah. Those yeah. are those are those are yeah, questions gonna, to be good have yeah. damn answers to, right? Jumping up on the hood, get a survey of the situation, and I'll assess. You get a bonus, don't you? Uh, I'd roll, i pull survival instead of. Oh, right. Uh, and uh, when I take up a disposition watching over an ally, which I'm not, so. Uh, so I'll, is the deck ready? I'll pull three. Uh, well, give me one second. I think so, but let's be sure. All right. Okay. Edge, miss, miss. So I got an edge. Uh, so that All means right. I get to ask one. Ask me one. Um, uh, so my assumption is that they were taken in by the Lilo and Stitch <laughs> folks in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's now going to be one big fat one and oh, one little skinny one. Yeah. <laughs> so right, right. I'm looking at what's what's my best way in because they must have gone right back in. What is my best way in? So you're now on the front side of this river walk, right? So the, you've got the river there. You've got the dead, kind of <laughs> uncomfortably uh, numbers of them on the other side of that river. Um, do you now see the storefronts, the, the, the sidewalk that winds along the edging of this river walk? And it's real easy to see what they consider to be their entrance because they have got a blockade with like this makeshift metal door that surrounds one of the fr storefronts. All right. Looks like they went in there. Yeah. I don't think they went that way. You can't leave they didn't go way. into the water. Yeah. All right. We can't leave them. That's for sure. No. I mean, we gotta go back it's in. Such a strong word. <laughs> I I know that Ahmed is not your favorite person, but he's he's got this a lot of places where we couldn't have got on foot. Yeah, we have his car now. Yeah, I... Do you have a are keys or anything? All right. So, and, and Yusuf, I mean. All right, he's useful. We got to go back. He doesn't like me, but he's useful. And and we owe these two motherfuckers. <laughs> right. Right. So. What are we doing? Guess we're heading back. Going to head back. Got to head back, fellas. <laughs> he was like, nah, I don't want to do that. Uh, I'm going to reveal my, I'm going to reveal my trauma. Okay. Uh, my trauma is. 
I know this would be a big surprise to everyone. I am selfish. <laughs> <laughs> no figure, right? No Shiver figure. part two. Right? Like, what the hell? I think he, I think he planned these, Troy. This is bullshit. <laughs> right, right, right. 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 Deck. I got to be an ex-con. <laughs> All right, so this issues. doesn't give me <laughs> this doesn't do anything right now, but I will. I wanted to refuse helping these people. Okay. And when it's revealed, I get plus one to my soul. Nice. Um, and then I clear stress when I refuse someone's request for help, which I did not because they did not ask me. Yep. But I want my plus one for soul. Perfect. Yep. Take your plus one for soul. Three of you are standing there trying to figure out what you're going to do. Uh. All right. We got to go back in. I mean, we we can't we can't leave them. Come on. Yeah. I mean, I'm only going because you guys are going. So, go in there and I'm following. Come on, they're a bunch of hillbillies. We can take them. We already knocked Let's one out. Let's they're do stupid. it. She's Grab your wrench. Let's go. A long time. Come on. All Let's right. Go. So you guys are armed up. Uh, what are you carrying for as for a weapon, uh, Harley? Yusuf. Roger there. Charlie. <laughs> ah, okay. He has use of it. All right. Well, you give him the take it. Bring up take the a chain out of the okay. chain out of the go bag. Okay. You guys start heading towards like this makeshift barricade that's in front of one of these one of these stores. Um, it's a uh, uh, precious moments statuette store. You can see the precious moments <laughs> uh, sign above <laughs> there, and you're about halfway there, and you can hear Ahmed above you he says they say just go home and you look up and you can see someone has got him half hanging out the second floor window so his waist is at the is is at the window he's got it pulled the his entire torso is out there you can see this guy's hand and you can see the shotgun barrel in the back of ahmed's head and ahmed's going he says he says he says just go home he says, just turn around. And he's 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 just shaking his head. You, tell him, you know, we can't go home without you and Yusuf. I mean, we can leave. You can have the car and we can just go. But... You, see, you, see, you see the, the gun hit him in the head. Uh, guys, just go. He says, just go. Yusuf's not good. They've taken oh. Yusuf down. Motherfuckers. <laughs> Guys, I guess it's time to leave. <laughs> Lilo and Stitch yeah. motherfuckers are going to regret that. Yeah, yeah, we're going to come back with the whole army. Yeah. Okay. This is how we're going to play it. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to leave. We're going to leave. And you see him going. I look at him like, you know, we're going to be back, bro. Come on, we're going to be back. Bring in the army. <laughs> <laughs> Three of you are going back to the car? I'm uh, already walking back. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. Come on. Come on, Harley. Come on, Harley. A good run is better than a bad stand. Let's go. We can come back. We know where they are. We're going to bring it. We're going to bring down. We got Captain Rogers, bro. You know he's going to come in. He's probably going to get to fly that helicopter over here. Because I think he's been holding it out. I think he knows how to fly that helicopter. Captain uh, Steve Rogers. Harley, let's go. I come feel on. like I can't leave. Yeah. Dexter, I need so. you to get into someone's face. When you get into someone's face, draw savagery. On a hit, they have to choose. You have to. They have to choose. Mark stress and escalate the situation or concede. On a triumph, you take plus one forward against them. If they escalate or you suffer harm. Okay. Uh, savagery. Two. I got an opportunity and a miss. What are we doing with that opportunity? Uh, actually, I get two more cards. I'm sorry. I forgot. I, I have my uh, explosive miss. Actually, I have a triumph in that one. Nice. All right. So, 
on a triumph, you can take plus one forward against them. If they escalate or you suffer harm. So Harley, Dexter's being real convincing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's in your face, telling you to get yep. your ass in the car. Uh, Dexter and I share a share a bond. What is that bond? Uh, He's so the one who brought me in. Yeah, I put him away, He's but I, I didn't know how badly that was going to affect his uh, family. Uh, it was like a relatively minor thing that he got put away for. Um, sort of technicalities. Um, and so I've been... Uh, I was taking care of his family while he was locked up. Sending them money and stuff. Um, fuck, Dex, come on, man. It's Yusuf and... You don't even right. know his name. Uh, you don't even know his name. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing Percy, shut the fuck up. All right. <laughs> Next. All right. Listen. I'll listen uh, Harley, over to Harley, the... Harley. Harley. Let's go. We can come back. You know we're going to come back. And we're going yeah, to but... rain down hellfire on them. The shotgun goes off. Huh. You look up and you see the gun is above his head. They didn't shoot him. The gun goes right back down. You gotta go. Come on, this is the only way that's this is the right this is the right move. You know it's the we right move. We have no advantage right now. We have none. Right. We have no weapons, we have no guns. All we got is hockey hands and umpire <laughs> chest here. <laughs> so <laughs> let's come on, get in the car. Get in the All car. Right. I, I grab I, I literally grab him now. I grab him, and let's yep. go. Three of you hop in the car. Who's driving? Percy. You know it is. He's I'm already, already in the car. In there. He already With the gloves car. off. I don't have the gloves on. And, and remind okay. me how you're turning the car on. <laughs> oh, yeah. We don't have the keys. Uh, Percy not a hot wire. You get to the car, and you look, and there's no <laughs> keys. Somebody's got to know how to do this. And he goes, they're saying leave the car. You can't make us walk out there. And, and Come on. just, just and like, just slightly. Now, now he's like mid thigh, hanging out the window. They're just, he's just pushing him out. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I... All right. <sighs> so this, my... oh, you yeah, can direct your point. allies to take action, right? Like that's one of the things you can do for your allies. You can. Now, Ahmad, him and I scammers he his thing is empathy manipulation and bartering okay so i want to direct him to make a deal with these guys since he's so good at um it says i need to draw two cards on the survivor deck if the action is in line with the ally skills which it definitely is draw yep. plus one Plus one, definitely. Uh, yeah, he doesn't have anything else. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let's see what happens. So what do you yell up? Okay. Tom, at uh, Ahmad. You know what they want. Tell them we can bring it to them. As long as they let us take the car and they don't harm you. All right, let's pull it. So you're gonna draw two cards plus one because this is in his skills, yep, and you can totally. see him kind of turning his head and talking to the guy. Okay. Miss, miss. Anyone want to say goodbye to Ahmed or <laughs> Edge? On an Edge, oh, the plan shit. works, but the GM chooses one. Um, so I'm going to let you go. That's all you. Yeah, it's all me. Right. So mm -hmm. this is going to work. So you see him talking, but you can't hear. It's too far away. And the gun comes back. You see Ahmed being pulled back in. Three of you are just standing there at the Volkswagen. Try not to make any noise. 
Thank God for Harley's Molotov contact cocktail, keeping the dead busy. <laughs> Metal door opens up and you can see Yusuf and he's got like a really crude, uh, heavy, heavy, like bed sheet tied around his thigh. And you can see the red stain of the blood. And he looks at you, Harley, and gives you kind of the, the mark. I'm, I'm okay. And he dangles the keys, showing you the keys Yusuf has. Behind him is Ahmed. They start walking towards you. You hear a gunshot from the roof. We see Ahmed go down. We roll the credits. All right, we're back. <laughs> poor, poor Lou and Troy. They played in my Shiver uh, Slasher game. Uh, if you haven't seen it, it's a phenomenal run. Uh, I think seven episodes. I think we ended up doing. It was really a, a, a testament to emergent gameplay. Shiver is a phenomenal horror game. Um, so I was really happy when they said they, on short notice, the two of them could join Roger and me and play this out. Um, just absolutely fantastic. Um, after credit scene. We do see the Volkswagen driving away. There's four people in it. Harley, Percy, Dexter, and Yusuf. And we can see them take a right-hand turn and pull into the hospital. All right. So, first time for everybody, right? Nobody's ever played this before? No, first yep. time, yeah. yeah. Uh, so let me start with you, uh, Roger McRogerson. Oh, uh, let's start with thoughts. What you, what did you think of the game? And I'm talking uh, mechanics, the game itself, not what we, not how we played it, right? Right. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah really, really loved it. Thought it was, uh, it was certainly easy to grok the system quick enough and get into, you know, um, making characters, building connections, you know, all that stuff that sort of seems to take a while in some trad games um it sort of forces you to make those decisions in a good way because it gives you it gives you two options and, and left or right you know uh so yeah i i thought uh you know overall i mean i would it's great great to bust out as a one shot yeah you know somebody cancels the game gets canceled you got three players your fourth one's sick Hey, let's do this tonight, you know? Yeah. And I can tell you guys the box set that it comes from, from uh, magpie. It's great because it has dry erase markers, laminated player character cards, okay. all the decks. Like it's super tactile. Uh, Lou and I are going camping for camping for gamers in a couple of weeks. This is going to come with us. It'll be just super easy. You throw a bunch of character sheets out there, throw a bunch of decks out there and you just start freaking playing. Um, it, uh, it's not GM list, but it's definitely no prep. Um, and the, the book gives some really good GM advice too, um, on how to really kind of push it. <laughs> I've seen enough of these movies that I didn't need a whole lot of help, but, um, 
it was it was good. All right, so uh, uh, and then uh, stars. What worked for you and the way we played it, Roger? What worked? What was your star? Oh stars? man, I mean, too too many to name. Star was the whole whole thing. Uh, first time getting to play with Troy. Troy is just like Jeff's kiss. Thank you. I, I want to uh, play every game ever with him and, and Lou. Troy, you come up uh, with this... these goddamn catchphrases. I know, right? Out of just like... Like... Nowhere. <laughs> just like bust them out. It's like what was uh, it? It's better. It's better to uh, run. A good, a good, a good run, run is better than a, a bad stand. Than a stand. Where yeah. does that come from? So I'm gonna tell you where that came from. That's uh, <laughs> from me riding public transportation in Philadelphia, and um, I may come off like I'm a tough guy, but I ain't trying to fight nobody. Oh, dude. So when you when you on sometimes when you're on public transportation and a, and a guy says, "Hey, that's a nice watch." or whatever you have on, and you look up and there's four guys, you, you're just either going to You're fight not going to know guys. what time it is. Right, right. Yeah. So, right. <laughs> so it's always just, hey, fight another day. You know, it's just stuff. So. Troy, you do a very, very good job of playing as character in character. You're, you're you. really, really good at it. Um, Thank you. I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, that, that and it's a lot. That really it, a it's lot. always first person for you. You're always there in the moment as the character, and and you pull us with you, which is pretty freaking cool. Um, uh, Roger, in a world where there's uh, uh, an episode two to our pilot, what are you wishing for? Uh, do stuff back in the enclave with those generators and helicopters, and see uh, see what's going on there. Um. So, yeah. All right. Going to you, Troy. Uh, thoughts mechanically from the system, first time playing the game. What were your thoughts? I actually love it. I love uh, using this is my second game that I've used a, a deck instead of dice. And like, uh, like Roger said, it's just easy to start. It's like, you know, point and shoot, plug and play. Um, and I like the way that you don't have to come up with, uh, with the bonds. The cards are already there for you, so it's like, okay, I don't have to be creative. I can just go with what's with work with this, work with this framework. So I like that, and I like, I really enjoy having the secret cards, where you can reveal your secret and reveal your trauma, because that just, you know, it's like, oh, sh oh, what, oh shit. <laughs> Yeah. I think that's the secret juice to this game. Yeah. Is the is is those reveals and the Mr. reveals. Bounty Hunter in the bookstore? What the hell yeah. was that? <laughs> just, I, I really we were done in that bookstore. <laughs> You're right. I think it's really cool. I think it's a really cool yeah. little thing that's that uh creates those big moments, right? And yeah. you and you reveal the card and yeah, I'm with you. All right, so, so uh stars, what worked for you? When were I you mean, the most stars, immersed? Uh stars are just Another great table that Craig puts together. I don't know. He's got that magic God, hat. Super lucky. He's got, he's got that. He's got that Rolodex. Let me see who I can call. Click, 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 click. And uh, I'm just happy to respond and uh, happy to be on this one shot. So I, I, I appreciate it. And uh, my wishes. I, I wish we could play again because I want to go back and avenge the mess. So. <laughs> so, so your wishes for an episode two, so that you can uh, clear out. Uh, what did you call him, Roger? Uh, Lilo Lilo and Stitch. Fire up the generator so we go to a YouTube video to learn how to fill a helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lou. How about you, my friend? Uh, let's the first thoughts on the system. Uh, first thoughts on the system is I greatly enjoy games where you randomly roll attributes, well, not, not attributes, but uh, specific details about your character. Yeah. And then you just kind of have to play them. Um, so that's a lot of fun to me. Um, and then, like the other gentleman mentioned earlier, uh, the card flips, just knowing one says hit, nobody has to think. There's no, oh, I got to add this to this, or what number am I trying to get? You flip a card, if it says hit, you know something good's going to happen. So I love that freedom so we can RP the whole time. All right, stars. Uh, stars. I really liked starting with the allies. I like that you had an ally that can push and pull you in the story already. 
not just each of us, because we're going to do that, but you have this ally that you can lean on. I'm sure as a GM, right? It helped too. Oh, knowing that having you have a named NPC out of the gate yeah. and a relationship is huge. And, and very simple, just giving them, these are the three things that this person is right. good at. And you just yep. lean on those three things. I thought that that was great. The I wish, love, oh, sorry, I love as a GM, like, I'm like, all right, I need someone to tell them that we're out of medicine. I just grabbed a population deck, flip it up. And I've got someone to come and tell you. And that, and that person has character as soon as they're flipped, right? Right. It's like uh, just add water, instant NPC, which is just phenomenal. Um, wish is we need to fight some zombies. Yeah, it was. A little I'm zombie almost. Light. I'm almost sad we kept running, but I mean, it's the smart thing to do. Yeah. I need to know how these hockey gloves work against zombies. I really, <laughs> um, it, it doesn't seem practical, but the cards will tell us. <laughs> Yeah, th there's a, there's a day where the four of us have nothing to do some night and we'll we'll play again. Um, so. so we'll uh, I'll uh, kind of take snapshots of of these character sheets and kind of kind of keep them as is um, so we can come back to them. Uh, you guys know the routine this coming Thursday. We're playing Brindlewood Bay. We're having a great time with that. Um, Roger, anything you want to plug? No, I'm not that popular. What's your, what's, your favorite po what's your favorite podcast? It's not mine. Uh, what's my favorite podcast? Uh, the Morning Stream. Listen to it. Four days a week, Monday through Thursday. If you like geeky, nerdy stuff, Scott Johnson and Brian Ibbett do a great job. So Very there you nice. go. Nice. Lou, what's your plug-in? Uh, it doesn't need a plug, but The Last Airbender, I, I ate that series up. I love it. It's amazing. I'm like a little kid watching it. I'm a huge Airbender fan. Cartoon or the oh, Netflix one? The new Netflix one. I, oh, dude, sick. I was the first the episode. Person I was like that that on the of? edge of my seat, like like smiling. It was so good. Had you seen the cartoon? Yeah, I love it. I watched it three I times. I thought it was my great. Kids love it. Yeah. I thought it was great. My wife had never seen the cartoon. She loved it. My daughter and I loved the cartoon. We loved it. It was not perfect. It was not the same. And that's because it's different. I I was I thought the cast was amazing. I'm I'm 100 with you, Lou. It was great. I, I just yeah, I'll check it out. Yeah, it was it was phenomenal. Yeah. All right. What you plugging, Troy? Well, my favorite. I have a couple of podcasts I listen to, but my favorite one by far is Tales of the Manicore. Oh, that's uh, a great it's one. It's an actual play podcast, dark fantasy storytell using uh, VX D and D. I'm, I'm, I'm a junkie. I can't stop listening to it. So he's got yeah. two seasons. Uh, that's my Monday, Tuesday in the, in the kitchen play. Yeah. He does um, a good job. He does a great yeah. job. And um, I, I guess I'll plug my personal chef services for anyone who's looking to do uh, intimate dinner parties. Uh, check me out on chef underscore Troy B on Instagram. I do intimate dinner parties, couples dinners, guys, not in girls, not in. So, when I'm not that, I'm, I'm actually working. Very cool. So thanks for letting me plug that too. Thanks, man. <laughs> All right. Howdy friends, thank you for watching. All our content is archived and organized in playlists on the Third Floor Wars YouTube channel. Check it out. And if you could like, follow, subscribe, and even set your notifications to this channel on YouTube and Twitch, we'd appreciate it and it'll make sure that you catch all of our content. I talk with creators, designers, and experts across the gaming landscape in every episode of our podcast, Tabletop Talk. Open up your favorite podcatcher and search for Tabletop Talk from Third Floor Wars. Support your creators. They make the content you love, and it's your support that makes it happen. If you want to help us, go to Third Floor Wars on Patreon.com, and you can help us for as little as a dollar a month. Thanks again. We'll see you next time. Take care.